hello everyone. Today yeah. we have a very exciting day. Yes, <laughs> yes we do. How are you all doing? Please tell us immediately how you feel about volume uh, levels because they 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 tend to be all over the place in this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They if there do, is actually. one thing that is the most difficult about streaming, it is audio levels. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm so yes, excited yes, for yes. today, guys. This is going to be a actually, good stream. I just remembered. Um, what was that? I uh, was messing with controller settings earlier. Oh, yeah? Have you rebounded for optimal objection yes. presence? Load a preset wow. Ace Attorney. Oh. What? Is this so that you can play one-handed? Yes, this is, a, this is so I can, I see. This is specifically so that I can play with either hand one-handed. Yeah. Volume good? Okay. So today, this, this is the day that some of us have been waiting for for quite a long time, I think. Yes, I was talking about the... Oh, yes, go I guess on. I'll wait, actually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to that story, actually, until they actually okay. show up. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we are in the, um, about to start, I think, the first day of trial for our first non-murder trial. Yeah. This is a theft, this is a theft is, trial, larceny. It, it, mm -hmm. Is that gonna last? Like, is, is nobody really gonna be murdered Who knows? in this trial? Sure, why not? The sky's the, the limit. What if people say, didn't have died. to die for you to have a job? Wouldn't that be great? That would be nice. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I do not know the difference between the different types of like stealing crimes. Mm. Oh, Maisie, stop looking at that. It's gross. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. If you look at that, if you like that part, it's fine. He likes to lick cold things. Yes. So last time we met some fun characters. We met uh, the delightful couple. Ron and Desi Delight, who are great and we love them. One of whom is... Oh, right, I remapped the D-pad, so I have to use the uh, control stick now. I have to remember to, to use the control stick. We're back. It's a there we are. Yes. We also met uh, Luke Atney, a private investigator? Oh, he's mark? great. He's great. And the worst. The redheaded oh, stepchild yeah. of the Lupin family, I think. He's great at being the worst. Yes, absolutely. He well, seems like sort then... of a, a comedic antagonist. I'm thinking a rival of sorts. And then Pearl got mad at us, and she ran away, and then we what? had the great backstory breakdown of the video game. All right, why did Pearl great. get mad at us? Because we decided to defend, uh, ma eh, but hang oh. on, sorry, got it, got to kick oh, it off wrong. strong right off the bat. Mask, demask. Uh, we, oh, we decided to defend him. <laughs> oh, that's right. But yes, uh, Ron I Delight can... is the defend the suspect, and we are the victim in this case. But we're also the defense lawyer, which is wild conflict of interests if ever there was <laughs> yeah. one. Okay. And yes, yeah, so we are keeping the uh, Mario sixty four shine sound effect. I don't know. Stop at this point. <laughs> it cannot be stopped. Uh, did we talk to you? Yes, we talked to you a whole bunch. Yes. Yep. Actually, I'm gonna try my one-handed approach. So this let's get out of is. Here. Let's get the game. Let's get the game on. Go play. All right. So we can <laughs> get. All right. Let's get paid. Mm -hmm. We so, can probably uh, go back to the at me detective agency now, right? Probably. Uh, maybe no. Not yet. I don't... You thought you would find me! Hey, boys. Uh... Nope. No. no, nothing new. I'm going to get used to this new control screen. I've mapped the ABXY buttons to the D-pad. Interesting. And the shoulder buttons are R, and the Z buttons are L. And both control sticks are mapped to the right one, so again, my goal was to be able to control this game entirely with either hand. So now I can play with one hand and give you scratches with the other. Aww. And now Maisie will ignore you the entire night. <laughs> um, detention center? Detention center? Sure, maybe. Uh, no. no one's, nobody's no. home. What Check about the here. actual scene of the crime? Yeah, the Lord, Lordly Taylor? 
Oh, this guard mon monitors the visitor's room. Is, is Ark crackling is... for anybody else? Okay, well, it's not me. Yeah. No, really? Yeah. <laughs> I, oh boy. I recommend in, uh, not using back? joy cons because drift. Remember last time? Oh. Pearl said she like goes wrong at kids. Wait, wait, what is Ark saying? Uh, it doesn't look like he, uh, it looks like he doesn't have much to do right now. Um, yeah, Ark is crunkling a little bit. Crinkle, crinkle. A lot of it. Right, right a lot of it. The stream, huh? Okay, uh, what do I do? Did you try leaving and coming back? I didn't see. He did. Yeah, he did. He did. You talked over it. I guess a reboot. Oh, uh, yeah. Jesse, okay, bye. Uh, Jay, Jay, congratulations. You're the new Phoenix. <laughs> congratulations, Jay. All right. Oh, good. It's the return of this, boys. I can tell no. because he's looking at the camera making funny faces. Mark will never know. <laughs> My oh, name is Congratulations. Uh, I, yeah, I guess go back to... Yeah, exhibition hall. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. It's like yeah, here we go. Hey. Maya. That's a good oh, Miss Andrews. She's still oh, alive. Yeah, this, this is Lunar's case. <laughs> yep. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. Your precious urn. Your precious urn. Precious. Oh, uh, please, calm down. What's wrong? And <laughs> now Ark knows. Don't and worry. He knows. It never ends. Everything I touch ends in failure. Oops. Maya, I'm sorry. I'll do anything to make it up to you. No, it's okay. I don't... I know I don't look like it, but I'm good with my hands. I can make you another urn. <laughs> Hold on, just wait, okay? Breathe, calm down, and talk to us. Forgive me. Forgive me. Let's, let's talk. Uh, do I sound better now? Yes. Uh, so uh, far. Keep talking. So okay. far you do. Here, but... here I go. Uh, maybe if I get some lines, I can keep talking. Yeah, so far, so good. Uh, the moment you do the Phoenix voice, totally go. Uh, so, god damn it, I have the reboot. Hang on just a second. Uh, uh, so, when did you get the calling card from Mask the Mask? <laughs> Let's see. Exactly ten days ago. I was going to show it to the police. That detective stopped me. He's not a real detective, right? You know, he does not work at the police that office is like because Gumshoe does. Everything that Gumshoe he could be a private. He, I guess he's a private eye, is the idea? Because like, everything that Gumshoe said indicates that he does not work for the de police department. Which yeah. Would, and yeah. like, to be a detective, unless he's a former detective? I don't know. Somebody with the, the look at me deplore, please add us. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so you asked Detective Atme to help with security? Yes. In fact, it was about 20 days ago that I hired him. You can be a detective but not work for the police? I thought you had, like, a detective yeah. was, like, a specific type of police officer. And, like, a private hmm. investigator is not technically a detective. Is Sherlock literally a detective? I've played a lot of Sherlock games. Come on. No, no, no. Herlock. <laughs> right, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, Sherlock Holmes is a fictional character in this universe. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Who was created to avoid copyright with, uh, or to avoid infringing on the trademark of the real person, Sherlock Holmes. Yes, ah. exactly. <laughs> he seemed to know as much, or he seemed to know much more about Mask, the Mask, than the, than the police. I like the Reaper. So, though. so you hired him for security even before? Before the calling card arrived? Well, yes. I had a promote or premonition that something bad might happen. You're psychic. I learned to trust my hunches. She's just got very good intuition. So that's why there are security cameras even in the basement warehouse. Yes. Lordly Taylor is very serious about their security measures. Now I'm waiting for a Phoenix Wright character named Lynn Tuition. 
<laughs> it was their way of saying, bring it on to any potential thieves. Well, he sure brought it last night and even left with a nice souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jay? Nope. Yes, Jay? Mm -hmm. Not. Please, Jay. You got Jay. a problem? No. Okay. Um, can you tell us a bit about the security for the treasure exhibit? It was all my fault. Is Lynn I tuition the full name of Lynn from Ghost Trick? Yeah, I was thinking of making that joke, but I wasn't sure how to word it. <laughs> Glad I to never know several have... of us were on the same page. I never should have called this paltry little collection a treasure exhibit anyway. Why do you say that? The urn was, that was stolen is a pretty important object. Maybe, but <laughs> its actual value after appraisal was, well, practically zero. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Because busted? Zero? I polished it until it was just about glowing. Andrews, no. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. Inside and out. <laughs> but, but, but that urn contains the soul of Mystic Ami. Well, it's already broken. <laughs> Several times. Anyway. I left the security arrangements to Detective at me, but five days ago, I began receiving all sorts of other exhibit items from Kareem. Lots of people started going in and out of the warehouse down there. So maybe one of them was actually mask to mask in disguise. No, I personally checked out everyone that came through here. So that's not possible. Knowing Adrian, she probably even checked out what they ate for breakfast that morning. She's very thorough and good at her job, usually. Yes. Okay. So my me, I'm just best. making a delicious hot beverage in the background here. Also, she used to wear blue. I don't know, it just never She's came up. She's mixing it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Looks good. I mean, people typically don't wear the same outfit every single day. Yeah, like, we're the weird ones. We're strange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should probably give you some presents, huh? Um. Present? Um. Miss Andrews? I know, oh, I know. It's all my fault. But what's done is done. I'll make it up to you by making a new urn. This <laughs> is just turn of the Jedi wardrobe change. I'm just so wasting she... my time. She feels she's too far gone. Does she have Chanel guilty. boots too? She probably does have Chanel boots. <laughs> um, camera. Thing? She had. She wore bell bottoms in her witness stand sprite, didn't she? That's right. I oh, I remember yeah. freaking out about how much I loved her outfit. <laughs> what what kind of shoes was she wearing? I don't remember. Probably just cute mm. pumps. What color were her pumps? Urn. Um, Miss Andrews. Uh, you don't care. Yeah. It's um, gonna be okay. The calling card? Nope. Miss Andrews. The sword? Do you care about that sword? No, you do not. Uh, it's an artifact. No, no. Um, I mean, she cares about it, but. Camera data? Nothing on camera data. Okay. Uh, profiles, mayhaps? What about her face? What about Ron? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna present Luke first. Do not care. Uh, do not care. Okay, I don't think no, she's gonna man. give us. She's not gonna give us anything. She's too right. worked up. Okay, then let's move to the warehouse. Yeah. Um, this is A. You, you know what this chapter's missing is a Magatama section. Where's the Magatama? Wait, I miss wait, it. Wait, do we have Magatama? We do have Magatama. Oh right, that's sorry. We the, do. The, the, what do we call it? The Maya, Maya chunk. chunk. Maya chunk. Yeah. Maya chunk. Yeah. 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 Where did, I mean, at least, how did that come at about? At least here, that's... Uh, well. It started Skyward in Skyward Sword, Sword because there's, the there's amber chunks that look very similar to the yeah. Makatama. Yeah. So, chunks, huh? So, yeah. chunks, huh? <laughs> exactly right. That's right, and that game also had the grab two crackles, which were like the chunks from Mario Galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question. Last time we were here, Nick tried to fiddle with the computer in the background, and he did kind of a bad job. I don't know if we can interact with it again. 
see if maybe Let's she's try better. Examining. Maybe. Oh. According to the computer data, someone did in fact go through those big doors last night, right? Yeah, I guess so. The shutter did go off once, you know. Ah, damn it. Nothing more. I wonder if that detective brought this camera in with him. Good question. Let's take a look at it. And steal it. Huh? It says property of Lordly Taylor on it. So it's borrowed? This is the Lordly Taylor, right? Yeah, we're mm -hmm. underground. So this is probably this is the Lordly Taylor warehouse. So this is probably it probably just lives there. Kind of strange for an ace detective, don't you think? I don't think the detective had anything to do with the camera. Did he say that he did? Uh, he, uh, he might have. He, he did say that he laid an elegant trap, and I don't really see anything else. Hmm. But he might not have been referring to the camera. I think we yeah. just assumed that he did. Maybe. That pathetic-looking wooden, wooden box. Be nice. Ah, that's the box that had the sacred urn in it. Don't touch it. There may be clues to the thief's identity on it. Uh, I worked so hard to make that box. <laughs> you made that that's poor right. excuse for a box, Maya? Damn it. I have to say this again. What's that supposed to mean? And I was so proud of it. Yeah, box sucks! Poor Maya. Maybe it had been better if Mask, uh, mask had, been take had taken the box, too. You know what? I think, I think, I think, I think Star is dying. Yeah. My star is dying? What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your, your star sound's cutting out. No, that's not fun. <laughs> uh, so wait, wait, wait. wait. Is. Hold on. Before you click. Arc. Before you click. Yes. Art question. Uh, do you have noise yes. suppression on? In Discord? on it, Discord? It turned itself on for me, so. The it might have turned really? itself on for you. Noise suppression. Where do I find that? Voice and video. Noise. Voice and video. Noise suppression. I see noise reduction. Uh, noise reduction. What? Noise uh, reduction is turned Oh, it's, it's, no, it's, scroll up a little bit. You want to turn off noise reduction. It's right above that oh, little crisp icon. Replace okay. Lada with Larry? Did that work? Did In that the help? anime? That's uh, play so the sound. Sad. Okay, uh, here's the sound. That's better. Yeah. There we yeah, go. Yeah, great. Now, before right. you click on that, wait! Oh. No. Um, I'm pretty sure that the reason that we're able to click on all these things is because Pearl is no longer here with us. Oh, so it's yeah. technically oh. new dialogue. I think this is probably nothing. Yeah, I don't think this is okay. anything new. Okay, it's cool looking. Look at the Struck. Galaxia! <gasps> look at it, yes. Maya. Look at, I, look at this I, cheap piece of shit. I'd like, to <laughs> I'd like to strap it to my waist. Like a samurai. <laughs> Uh, uh, did okay. we talk to her? I, I talk can't talk to anyone. Maya? I don't know. Talk, can we? Uh, no. you can't. Hmm. Either there's something we, it's just, uh, something else we need to do with Adrian, or there's somewhere else we need to be. Something may have opened up because we talked to her. Maybe. Maybe, Maybe look at me. Yeah. Sit his now. Look at me. Uh, at me. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's October. It's October. Hello. Well, well, how lovely it is to see you again, my dear. Oh. Welcome to my abode. Relax and soak up the atmosphere. And, uh, uh, but, but we're actually kind of... Silence! <laughs> Precisely as I expected. What is... Svari! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit medium. Am I correct? You met us earlier straight. today. Um, I think we've already been through this. Ha! Huh, so my estimation was correct! Svari! How truly elegant! Now then, what can I do for you? Uh, no. you can okay. talk to us. You want to talk about things? You better start talking, bub. You mentioned before that you were on guard duty all alone last night. Precisely. 
This is my fifth encounter with my arch nemesis. I refuse to allow anyone who to interfere with the rightful pursuit of my prey. I... I heard you've been after Mask... Damask since his very first uh, theft? Yes, my dear. I see that you've done your homework. In his very first heist, that vile thief pilfered the famous jewel, the Tear of Emanon. I first encountered him in the museum's sacred hall, the crime scene itself. I do like how you're trilling all of your R's. <laughs> <laughs> I decided so, that was a character. Yeah. yeah. Very extra. So, that's why you were hired as the security for the treasure exhibit. I'm pretty sure he said that Adrian Andrews hired him. Yes, I borrowed some uh, equipment from the lonely tailor and set up the perfect trap. It's weird that the camera just wouldn't be there, because, like, you'd think a museum or, like, whatever fancy place this is would have security cameras in their warehouses. Maybe they just never had a theft problem before. Mm. You must mean the security camera. That's a precaution. But I thought you were watching the area yourself, too. So how did Mask Damask manage to steal the urn? That's the million dollar question. What is Damask's modus operandi? Secret urn! Um, Mr. Atme? Did you know about the sacred urn? I'm interested in the only one thing, my dear, and that is mask. Wait, no. Oh, no. Mask! The mask! <laughs> sacred urn? Pfft. That has nothing to do with this case. But wasn't that what mask. uh. the mask stole this time? <laughs> we'll, we'll get back into it, we'll get back into it. I am a hunter, sir. The urn has nothing more than a lure to catch my prey. <laughs> Do you yourself remember the shape of the individual peanuts you'd throw to the pigeons? I don't like this guy's attitude, Nick. Also, oh, Chad's, Chad's saying I'm crackling. You crackle yeah. every now and then. I do hear it. Like, how, how bad is it? I do. I don't. It's uh, crackle, crackle, crackle. Pretty minimal compared it's to most of minimal. It's it's very minimal, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. that might just be Discord itself. Uh, they're right there, yeah. Yeah, you just did it a tiny little bit. Right there. Wee. Well, anyway, it looks like he doesn't know anything about the urn. That's texture. <laughs> <laughs> um. Like, there's something that's bothering me. Yes, we are currently, our, our sound is currently playing through that old gramophone in the back. Yeah. <laughs> that's warmth. Please, my dear, ask me anything you like. Maya has, has the hiccups. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, After all, she ate you... Ewan's burgers too fast. No! <laughs> Maya, don't do that. After but they all, were <laughs> <laughs> they were my burgers. They were oh, speaking of burgers, really quick. Last <laughs> night for dinner, I, um, I had a burger with fried cheese on it. Ooh, fried cheese. That, fried cheese. It was kind of wild. It was like breaded and fried. That's that's oh, that and sounds fried. so American and also sounds yeah. very tasty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you we have nothing. No! <laughs> wandering in, <laughs> wandering in the dark. <laughs> It was kind of like a mozzarella stick, but it wasn't mozzarella cheese. It was like, I don't know what kind of cheese it was. Probably American. Or cheddar. Probably cheddar. Well, I was wondering how Mask Damask managed to steal the urn. I mean, isn't it strange that you don't seem to know? <laughs> yeah, now that you mention it, it, it is strange. After all, you were on guard that night at the scene of the crime. Unless oh, wait, what? Sound asleep? What's wrong, guys? No, oh, it's gosh. Discord, Discord just glitched. You, you're fine now, but I, I think, yeah, yeah, you're, you're, I, you're, think you're. I had the exact, or a very similar issue. Uh, yeah, during the, the portal, story, uh, portal. Or, uh, portal, 
portal reloaded. Hmm. So do you Over. think it's on my end or if it's or Discord? No, I don't know. I, it's 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 I have an idea. Just give me some seconds. I have no idea. Well, that will uh, mess up the layout tabs. Uh, yeah. Ark, you're getting Wait, farther what, away. What yeah, I'm, I'm speaking quieter. Am I okay now? No, like the, the, it sounded like you were the, the audio issue. It just sounded like you were getting far away. I'm like talking oh, through okay. a pipe. Well, it, your voice sounded like it was auto tuned for a second. Wow, yeah. spooky. Uh, should I do something or should I just. Uh... I don't know if there's anything we can do at the moment. Okay. Well, unless you were sound asleep, you should have at least seen Mask the Mask. Uh, Frid shirt. Sure. No, it was uh, clueless. I'm pretty sure the, this urn has been broken at least twice before that we know of. Yeah. Just the once. Just the yeah, because Pearl broke it, and there was a flashback of, of ooh. Speaking of Maya chunks. Ooh. Oh right, Mia and Maya also repaired it. I forgot about that. I think what was the... it was it Mia that broke it, or was it Maya that broke it? Probably as a kid. Maya. Probably Maya. <laughs> because I remember a flashback that showed like Mia as a little kid. Yep. I think we got a what picture the... at the end of the, that trial or something. It's a psych lock. Dun, dun, dun. S psych lock? Have you never seen these? What's a psych lock? No, she's seen them before. This... Surely <laughs> she understands. Let's, let's talk yes. to Luke about Me, psych yeah. locks. Hey, Nick. What is this psych lock thing? I've oh, never yeah. heard of them before. Well, your Megatama lets me see when people are keeping secrets. I guess we've never yeah. talked about this ever. I don't. <laughs> okay. Think yeah, this is I just know. a pearl thing. All right. I guess by so. By breaking their mental locks, I can find out what those secrets are. But she's seen us use it on people, like Mo, the clown, and all them weirdos. The no, game's she just was trying to give clown. us a tutorial. Yeah. What? This Megatama has that kind of power? Mm. Maya, you're the one who <laughs> gave me this Magatama last year. Well, it's true that this Magatama is a prized Fey family heirloom, but... Pearly was the one that actually imbued it with spiritual power, right? You do know about it. That's why I don't really know much about what it can do. Yeah, Pearl is way better at this than Maya is, sadly. <laughs> Listen, I'm pretty sure that Pearl's a prodigy. This is yeah. the woman <laughs> who's going to take over the Karain channeling school one day. Yep. Because yep. like, wasn't Look at that face. I'm trying I'm trying to remember the lore here. Wasn't um Morgan the older sister of Misty? Yes, but I she had so. no spiritual power, so she was right. kind of like cast aside. Yeah. So Misty and, and it got the time. I believe so, and that's why she was so mad. Because okay. she was, like, Misty's was supposed to be the Branch family instead. But since Morgan didn't have any spiritual power, Misty became the master instead. So we're not talking and about Pokemon. God. No. No. <laughs> Is there a Morgan in Pokemon? Probably. That's when I right, knew. People. So how do you, or, so how do you do it? How do you break it's... this Cyclock thing? What type would be? You know what? A Morgan mm, would be mm. a probably a fairy type gym leader because like Morgan Le Fay, Fay Fairy. Uh, yes. That's that like regress it. because Morgan Organic. That's a stretch. <laughs> well, you uh, present the Magatama to the person with the secret. Cool. I can't wait to see it in action. Come on, try it out. You've seen it in action. Oh boy, I think the future master still needs to learn how to be patient. Do it, do it, do it! All okay, right. here I go. Uh, present... All right, at me. What do you think about this cool thing I have? I got this Maya chunk. <laughs> so chunks, huh? So chunks, huh? I don't care about chunks. <gasps> Detective at me, you were standing guard at the scene of the crime. There's no way you didn't see Mask the mask commit the crime. I can't fold my arms and get into character with that coming in. <laughs> Morgan's Brock's Japanese name? Huh. Ah! No. That Wait, can't really? Be. That cannot be. Huh. Well, now. 
Did you skip this line? Again? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, indeed. I was guarding the warehouse. That was just true. Let. I'm just gonna blame it on the gamepad D-pad. Mm. Sure. Exactly. But I, I can tell you for certain that it is not a single person that passed through that door. You just jump up here. I'm not sure no. why, but this at me guy is lying through his teeth. Come on, Luke, up on my lap. <laughs> the world looks always looks a little brighter from on top of a lap. Come on, come on now. Come up here. I'll show Maybe him some proof. Detective at me, I have here proof that someone went through that door last night. It would be the camera data. Yeah. There was a security camera set up at the scene of the crime. It should have automatically taken a photo of anyone that went through that door. Precisely. I hope you don't mind. But we've already gotten our hands on the camera data, but not the photos. As you can see, the camera went off exactly once last night. But, but my monocle didn't catch anyone in his flesh. It must be some kind of computer malfunction. It, ha it, it must be. Maybe it was your monocle that malfunctioned. Mm. Oh, how dare you! Mm. Are you saying that I didn't do my duty properly? <laughs> De Detective Batman, you must have seen the thief last night. The question is, why are you trying to hide it? If he's hiding it, there must be some reason. Some reason that he desperately wants to keep hidden. And I've got just the piece of evidence that should prove it. Okay, let's suppose you didn't manage to see Mask to Mask. In that case, the reason you didn't at that time was because you were... Doing your duty. You're sleeping, you're sleeping Fast bathroom, asleep. Or unconscious? I mean, if you're asleep, you, you're, you're also unconscious. That's, That's kind of true. the same thing. But it did seem like there was a struggle. Hmm. But, like, if there was a struggle, he would have seen somebody. I guess... But That'd he is trying guy. to hide the fact that he saw somebody, so... Clueless, I was joking about the D-pad. <laughs> this is um, my guess. I'm gonna say unconscious, oh. yeah. Oh? I'm afraid uh, that making the guess is not enough. Time to put your money where your mouth is. Show me your evidence. Oh. This um, Sword? Yeah, yeah, the sword. It's bent. So maybe he got bonked over the head? <laughs> Thank you. I was hoping you did. You're welcome. What do you think that thing's made out of? Um, wood. Plastic. Plastic, yeah. Or wood. <laughs> I'm gonna say... Bendable wood. What is the metal equivalent of balsa wood? <laughs> Aluminum? <laughs> I have no answer for that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tin? It's made of tin. Rusty. <laughs> it's made out of out of aluminum foil. <laughs> there okay. we go. It I kinda mean, looks like a candy bar in a wrapper. I mean, a based really on the weird candy bar. Yeah. Based on the color, I'd guess copper, because it might be rusty. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Anyway. anyway. Detective at me. You were knocked unconscious by the thief, weren't you? Paper mache. <laughs> Certainly, you must be joking. You think that I, look at me, could be not unconscious so easily? This sword proves it. Th that's... Before the theft, this sword was in the hand of the statue of Amy Faye. Furthermore, at that time, it was not bent. Uh, uh, There's only one explanation. You were struck on the head and knocked unconscious by this sword. Well, Detective, how about it? Ooh. I'm impressed. You truly are an ace attorney. Nice. That was easy. Yeah. I'll suppose Mo. 
I can't deny that there might be a small hint of truth in what you say. So, you were knocked out when the thief first clobbered you? Clobber. What an ugly way of saying it, but I suppose you could put it that way. The coward struck me at the precise moment I turned and looked at the computer. So you never noticed that that the thief had entered the warehouse? Optical, is that a rickroll? Hmm. No, I, I know exactly what they're saying. What they're saying is... Mask! <laughs> the mask! <laughs> that what? was... was but, huh? What? They asked earlier if I, it would replace once with the Yoda death scream, and oh, I immediately oh, looked for it. Oh, I'm reading the chat now. Well, that wasn't a Wilhelm scream. No, earlier they said Yoda Lego de Star Wars death scream. Oh. And that is the voice clip. Wonderful. No, the coward must have warmed his way through the somewhere besides the door. Perhaps the air ducts or the sewer pipes. Then, my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind this gruesome item here. Ouch. Mr. Atme should have his poor head examined. Hmm. You say that again. How could he have underestimated the thief that badly? Nice. It's Mask nothing. knocked Atme out during the crime W slash a blow to the back of the head. <laughs> Well, it looks like we got one thing cleared up anyway. Mask, Urr, the mask. <laughs> <laughs> mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a huh? Jay's goofy scream is. Probably perfect. I don't know if you want me to do that right now, but I can. <laughs> no, not right now. A time and a place huh? for everything, my friend. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. What that? That at me is the greatest ace detective in the world? No, that he never actually saw the thief. Oh, that's right. So the thief may not even be Mask the Mask. Just one moment, sir lawyer. The thief was unquestionably Mask the Mask. But you never actually saw him. Card. Perhaps so, but I installed a security camera for just such an emer uh, contingency. Also that. Oh. Last night, the camera went off exactly once. Behold, this is a photo of the dastardly thief taken by the security camera. Give me that evidence. Th that's him. Mask to mask. Okay. Well, that'll be handy. So we have someone dressed as mask, mask to mask carrying a box. At, that was it, uh, 12.58 uh, a.m.? Something like that. The thief can be none other than the arch criminal mask the mask. Checking that dank court record. How yes. loud is it when I do the key buttons like that? No, 0, 58, and <laughs> 43 this, seconds. The sound of you pressing the button is definitely audible, but it's not Hold up. <laughs> yeah. Look in the uh, center right of the frame. The, the, the shape in the paint there. The paint has already been spilled oh, and the yeah. box was there. It doesn't sure. look like there's paint on the box he's carrying, but I guess we can't really be nice. sure. From... Now, hold on. The the statue. Uh, isn't the statue on top of the, the stain now? It should be. Yeah. The... I think it was yesterday, but now it's not. Yeah, so the statue has been moved. Okay. So at um, 12.58 a.m. the Rump of Blood it is. Yeah. Yes, that's the Dangan Rump of Blood. After all, he has a very good reason for committing such a brazen crimes. What are you talking about? So, what do you mean by he had a very good reason? Exactly that. 
Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. There should be a green envelope somewhere in this room. Ah, yes, this. You mean, you mean the one that we saw and we were like, hey, we should take that in case of its evidence. And then the game was like, no, you shouldn't go through people's mail. Phoenix. Which I mean, you shouldn't. It's a crime. <laughs> it is a crime. Actually, you'll need to go and investigate. But, but how would you know about that? Also, uh, regarding the Bunsen burner in the back, I'm convinced that it's not actually on, and it's just a paper cutout of a flame that's taped. <laughs> mm. Makes sense. <laughs> Have you forgotten? You respect to the finest ace detective ever to walk on the face of the earth. The most brilliant mind since... Well, ever. Look at me. Well, I guess we better go take a look, just in case. I right. really like our new gumshoe. Gumshoe 2. Hmm. I like the old gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't reliable. I'm really glad that this guy's gonna be the new gumshoe for the whole game. Mm. <laughs> Damn. Hey, babe. Hey, Nick! Remember what Detective Atme said? Like, five minutes ago? I said this five minutes ago! <laughs> <laughs> We're skipping this. Yep. <laughs> A green envelope, huh? Looks like this was it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Green envelope, huh? Ugh. If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, come to KP Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring fifty thousand dollars. Wham. Fifty thousand. This is this is a blackmail letter. It's green though. It sure looks like a major clue, all right. Looks like a green. Why did letter. I stop you from looking at this earlier? <laughs> Would have been helpful. Written with a fountain pen. Ding dong. Ding dong. Ding dong. Oh, Help. someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Won't take but a second, I promise. Oh, oh, thank you for coming. Oh, that's so nice of you. <laughs> oh. oh, that's gonna be Jay. Oh, it's gonna be Jay? Oh. That... Is it? Is that... it for... Is it... It's just Is some it... random guy. Just some random okay. guy. Oh, okay. Well, when I see a damsel in distress, I just can't help myself. Oh, please, come on in. I'll make some coffee. Really? Oh, okay, I guess I'll make myself at home. Uh, pr pretty lady. <laughs> pretty lady. <laughs> Wait a minute, I know that voice. Oh, Nicky boy, I'm so sorry, but I've got another guess. Ah, you! You're! Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you and my internet were approved! It was a fake jam! It was a fake jam! I gotcha! I mean, was that you were here? I didn't know you were in this case. <laughs> ah, Larry! Long time no see! Oh, with a Larry theme song. Yeah! It's so good! <laughs> What? You know each other? Nick, Nicky Poo. <laughs> Nick, do you and this girl have, you know, something going on? Uh, so, something. Uh, if you mean what I think, I, I understand you, Nick. Uh, I understand wait. You. <laughs> I understand you as well. A gorgeous lady like this and married to. Way to go, dude. <laughs> Yeah, her husband's my defendant. Larry. Larry, bad. <laughs> Very bad, Larry. I knew it. Just when things can't get any worse, it's time to cue in the butts. Present all the profiles to Larry? <laughs> Didn't you stop whoa, me from whoa, whoa. presenting uh, Franziska's profile to him last game? I, he's so creepy about everything. Wait, no, it wasn't him. I think it was Director Hottie. Oh, it was Hottie. <laughs> oh, yeah. it was Hottie. Well, listen, listen, can you really blame me? <laughs> Larry no. Butts. Ever since grade school, he's been... Not exactly a close friend, but yeah, we know each other. <laughs> God damn. 
Hey man, that wasn't nice. That was your very first client. True. We've got quite the uh, storied history, he and I. And what we used to say still rings true. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Usually the butts. Should I put my arm down? <laughs> hey, come on now, you're embarrassing me! And in front of this pretty little thing here. Mm, so you two are old childhood friends, I see. Well, that's so sweet. Oh, thank I you. Larry <laughs> <laughs> support home records. God damn it. <laughs> God damn. You two go ahead and catch up on old times. I'm gonna go check on my bike. Wait, no. The, the in, desert, in your apartment? Why are, you, why are you leaving three strangers to hang out in your home? <laughs> She's very nice friendly. Girl that, <laughs> nice girl that Desiree. So how you been, <laughs> Nick? Two steps removed from Guardian of the Park. <laughs> oh my god. Too busy if you really want to know. <laughs> I'm Larry Butts. Yes, I'm Larry <laughs> Butts. <laughs> okay, I guess, yeah, present all of the uh, profiles to him. <laughs> Alright, how's he gonna drag Nick? <laughs> <laughs> You're 26 years old, right? George thinks it's about time you took a long, hard <laughs> look at your life. <laughs> Coming from a guy who can only brag about how many times he's been rejected. Going for the record. Uh, come on, man. Isn't that kind of ironic? <laughs> Larry. It's so Larry. Larry. I have no idea who friend. this man is. I've never met this man in my life. Oh, this is going to be weird. He's going to be weird about this. All right, let's do it. Be you may not know. Hey, I remember her! That's Maya's big sister! Wow, you really do remember. Yeah, who could forget a couple of gorgeous sisters? Uh, uh, God damn it. <laughs> you hear that, Nick? Gorgeous! <laughs> no, 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 no. I... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. When I defended Larry, Mia was still alive. Oh no, does Larry not know? He might not. He might not uh, know. He might not know. I mean, again. I'm sure we've definitely told him and he's just forgotten. Eh, that seems in character. Wow, you're even cuter than the last time I saw you. Oh, really? Yeah, you look totally different than two years ago. Don't you think so, Nick? Maybe it's because we're always together, but she looks pretty much the same to me. Her sprite's like 20% bigger. That's it. <laughs> oh, what a cutie! Hey, Nick, so let's see what you knew in this girl. Is that your a babe? A valid question, um, actually. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, that's my cousin. Her name is Pearl Fay. Hey, lawyer man, why are you always hanging around with this tiny child? Um. <laughs> Pearl, huh? Eh, too bad. Never date two girls with the same name. Oh my god. That's one rule I can't oh, break. There are so many oh, things Larry. wrong with this, with this Larry. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. The fact that she's only nine years old would break the rule somewhere, Larry. <laughs> Larry, <laughs> there's like five things wrong with what you just said. No, no, no. Said. See, the criteria Larry. goes name, then age, then look, gender and location. I think. <laughs> uh, how do they go in Yahoo chat? God damn it. A A A did, did Larry appear in Ace Attorney 2? I forget. I don't no, think he did. I don't remember. I don't believe that he did. I, I feel like he got a little worse. As the you should day. feel bad, Gomez, but I've got to keep going. <laughs> wow! Who is this? Come on, man. Don't hold out on me. Forget about it. It's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Hey, now I thought we were pals. I need to know. I got a major thing for girls with black sleeve shirts, sleeve shirts, and glasses. Larry, please. How do you know all that? <laughs> <laughs> I can see the tips of the shoulders. Oh. And the heavy orange-colored metal pad. I really lose my cool. I, he has I to need to arrest up. you he for can't. something. He can't really know Adrian, can he? Go to jail, Larry. Do not pass code. Do not collect two hundred dollars. I want this man to interact with Francisca. No, I don't. <laughs> I want. I want him to get his comeuppance. 
teach him a lesson. Larry, what about no, this person? He doesn't no, care. He doesn't he, care about he, any of the dudes. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> he'd be in. He'd be into it actually. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Ah, beats me, man! Shows you a picture of the officer What's... who arrested you for murder. All of a sudden, <laughs> he's got nothing to say? You don't remember the man who arrested you? <laughs> I just thought of something! What if it's actually a hot chick under that costume? Shut up. <sighs> Forget about it, guys. Trust me. But what if it is, man? You're killing my buzz, dude! What if it is? Boy, talk about someone who has a one-track mind. Call the horny police. Shoot. Look at me! He, uh, I I, no. no, Larry, what about this? Yeah, no way. No way he knows this what person about... or cares about them. Larry, what nope. about this person? Beats me! But, but of course. <laughs> but of course. Yep. <laughs> oh, that desert is one awesome lady, alright? It's been a long time since I felt this way. I think I'm really in love this time. A long time, huh? Yeah, well, uh, except for what I feel for you, Maya, it's different. It's different. No it's way. <laughs> I don't think he even he knows what he said anymore. Okay. Yes, I do. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> this I don't care about you. <laughs> so upset. Even you can learn a few tricks from me, Nick. Yeah, like what? I'll just tell your hair. Look at my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Point straight up, right? Mm, mm, mm. But your hair, on the other hand, points backwards. Mm. That's no good at all, man. It's defeatist. You gotta aim high for the stars. I, I can't find a counter argument to that. <laughs> and that is why he got the little tidbit of hair in the future game. It's very, it goes forward. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, 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 the bit Origin. that decides that. Yeah. Yeah. So, what have you been up to the whole this whole time? It's been two years since I heard from you. And what's with those clothes? You look well, weird. You look like you're Oh, I off. just noticed the clothes. He's a security guard. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> hey man, that's uncalled for. This is my uniform for my part-time job. But I can't believe it's been two years. They say time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> What's wrong? I gotta tell you, I don't do this anymore. So you got dumped again? Well, you know Benifer. <laughs> Benifer. <laughs> I don't know Benifer actually. Tell me about Benifer. I found her all the way to Japan two years ago! Well, was that the one he was dating in the, the Christmas deal two years Is ago? Is there that much continuity? I don't know. <laughs> I No, I don't think that that girlfriend was named Benifer. Fair, we would have realized I that feel the like name was Benifer. Benifer. I feel like it was Keyonce. It was Keyonce. Anyway. Uh... Also, this reminded me that we're not actually in Japan right now. <laughs> oh, yes. That's where I met the fam famous Katie Tom, and my whole life changed. Jennifer, Katie Tom? I have never heard of either of them. Anyway, dude, Katie Tom chose Hollywood over me. Can you believe it? You've gone through two girlfriends since I saw you? Well, actually... Anyway, it sounds like you had quite the adventure. Wait a minute. That's so... So... Ah! Oh! Well, but, but you're different, Maya. You, you, you're not like the rest of them. You're fine. You're not like other girls. Still the same old Larry. Maybe more. Imagine. <laughs> so, uh, what, what, are you, what are you doing here, anyway? Huh? What do you mean by that? I just a natural born nice guy, that's all. Well, actually, I picked this up last night while I was working and. A wallet? You say that you found this last night. Yeah, I had a driver's license in it, so I figured I'd just return to myself. <laughs> okay, we'll take it. Thanks for that, Larry. Appreciate it. On the night of the crime. 
Wait, Larry, where do you work? Hang on, let me see that for a minute. I knew it. Desi's picture is in here. Oh, Wait, okay. What? Wait, oh. so it's Ron's wall, but it has a picture of Desi in it, and that's of why course. he wanted I mean, to return it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it really digs my wife, huh? Oh, my wife? Nope. <laughs> nope, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, not <laughs> that's not what you're thinking at all. Freudian mm -hmm. slip. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. You haven't changed a bit. Oh, Larry, no. Ah, oh, no way, man. I mean, she's a married woman. That's just bad news. She really is here just to check out Mr. Light. No, 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 no. So, you said you found it at your job, right? Yeah, I'm working for a private security company as a, as a god. You just love a guy in uniform, you know? Security guard, huh? So that's what the uniform is all about. I'm a cob! Do I still not sound very good? <laughs> you How's occasionally... Uh, it, the, the quality occasionally dips, but mostly it's fine. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's, it's, not, it's, 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 it's nothing we can fix, I think. I think it's just okay. Discord being weird. Richard, he didn't okay. assume that he was married to Nick. He assumed that Nick was sleeping with Desi, despite her being married. <laughs> so what time was it when you found this last night? Chris was like, oh, with a married woman? Wow, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Why are you asking that? Trying to see if I got an alibi? <laughs> um, you're not the one off the hook for a crime this time. No, you're not the one on the hook for a crime this time. Ah, whatever. Uh, I guess it was around one in the morning on the first floor of our company building. What was Mr. Delight's wallet doing there? Anyway, there's nothing weird about that. Nothing. So, nothing so the weird. wallet was found at the building for the security company, not at the museum. Right? Is that right? Maybe. Maybe. Is that what he just said? After all, he works there. The Venn diagram overlap between Larry Butts and Wendy Oldbeck currently has a security guard and had multiple romantic partners in their 20s. <laughs> 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 they were made for each other. Wait, partner oh. interests. Because that I means mean, that people dated the old bag. I mean, you don't know what she looks like in her 20s. He oh, the did. Oh, wait, no, the you romantic. Mean Mr. Delight? The partners were in their yeah. 20s, not themselves. Yeah, okay. exactly. Now you know my issue. <laughs> yes, I do know your okay. issue now. Okay. Okay, uh, Delight. She said the line. I, I said the line. Okay, I was just reading it myself. <laughs> Nicholas, no! <laughs> sure, here, take a look at this. Yeah, it's right here in his wallet. Larry is literally down for anything. What's this card? It's a key card for the security company. See? It's got a serial number right here. There's no mistake about it. You said you're working part-time at a security company, right? That's right. Why are you making that scary face? Security <gasps> company, huh? Is oh, that why Ron key. has old bag stuff from the last game? Maybe. It's stolen. <laughs> Maybe they were dating. Something's oh, not quite no. secure about Larry working there. I need to find out as much as I can about this key card. Fine. Court record. Okay. Um, I'm out of here. Bye. No. 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 What uh, did you just get? Come on, man. Do I have to present stuff? Pre present the card to him. You gotta find out as okay. much as you can about the key card. Uh, so you're sure about this key card? Yep! That's the key card we use in the building I'm working! According to the serial number, this one's from the CEO's office. You needed to get into that room, and every time you use that card, it leaves a record. Ooh, flashbacks to the first game. Yeah, huh. It leaves a record? Yeah, it tells you who entered the room and when. Lewis, if Oldbag had kids, she would not know them. 
Like she would just, <laughs> nope, you're, goodbye. <laughs> I can't Good be tied lie. down, I'm a free spirit! <laughs> Desiree old Larry. Bag, no! Larry, I need the data! Whoa, slow down, man! Sorry, but well, that data is off limits to outsiders, and if I lost this job, I'd never have a chance with Desiree, the married Smack woman. Smack you! It's times like these when I wish lawyers weren't so powerless. Okay. I want to punch people. I want to be a combat lawyer. <laughs> combat lawyer. Well, do I have great news for you, Phoenix? What's Join the real. <laughs> you didn't touch anything in that wallet, did you? Hey, man, be serious. You know what I'm interested in. If the if mask the mask doesn't look out, he's gonna be a victim of a robbery himself. <laughs> no. No, I Yay, I man! Okay, I think we're done here. Um, detention you. center? Maybe. Nope. No. Uh, I'm actually not sure where we would go. I, Back to Lordly Taylor. I. Were we done talking with all the options for him? I think Larry so. Larry not done. Larry might I not mean, be I mean, maybe something else popped up after we showed him the, the thing. We could have tried showing him the wallet. Well, yeah, he did give us the wallet and didn't really talk much about the wallet itself. Only the con well, he talked about the content, so we granted. No, we talked. Can you talk about the wallet? Mm. Uh... Okay. I don't want to show this guy our stuff, but am I supposed to? You can try. Maybe? Maybe. I can't be helpful. Nah, it's okay. Nick is just blah, 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 blah. Piddling and All right, um, can we go uh, to the security? Like the... Security building? Mm, it didn't show up as an option. Mm -mm. So... I think it's Larry. It's my, it's my thought. Um, Larry, visit Ron. I tried visiting Ron. He didn't show up. Oh wait, there's something else you gotta present to him. To Larry? Yeah. All right. To Mask's hideout. It's just his, it's just his apartment. This is his hideout. Hide he hides here. <laughs> is it the badge? It, it, well, it should be the badge, but is it isn't it, the badge. Is it Ami Faye? Like, ooh, who's this hiding? <laughs> <laughs> I would not be surprised if you actually comments on it. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Uh, 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 le oh. Larry, this is this is one of the treasures from Karain Village. Be serious, Nick! I couldn't care less about mystic mumbo jumbo stuff! Aww. Oh. Aww. Aww. Ah, of course, Maya's a different story. Talk about your mixed messages. All right. Oh, okay, not the joke we expected. Um. Oh, did we read this? I I've been coming to Perloin, the most priceless work of art on display, and your treasures of crane exhibit. The good care of speckled urn, won't you? Just <laughs> joking. Mask. Swing the mask. Speckled? Wait, speckled? What does that mean? Speckled urn? Glittery? This is the speckled band, I mean urn. <laughs> Deep cut. We, we showed these. Did Wait, I don't think we presented the wallet to him. We he did. gave us the wallet and then... No, yeah, he said that he only cared about the picture of Desi. Uh. Well? Hey, Larry, what about this? What? I forgot something to say, then say it already. Oh, uh, huh? A blackmail letter? Do you know anything about this? What? 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 I don't know anything about Alexis! Is that the truth? Mm. Uh oh. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I can't believe you do 
listening. I thought we were friends. $50,000. I don't know how that kind of money. No, 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 you don't understand. This blackmail letter was sent to Rhonda Light. <laughs> oh, man, you scared me to that a heart attack, you idiot. Okay, there's a checkered past. Wait, I'm the idiot? <laughs> man, I was totally confused because it says KV security right on the envelope. Um, yeah, so what? Well, that's where I got a part-time job at KV security. Well... What? Look at his outfit. Sounds like I should really find out some more about this KB security okay, company. Okay, so now can I go there? Mm -mm. Well, probably talk to him. Oh. Talk to him. Uh. <laughs> KB security, the company, and the blackmail letter. You know about it? That's where I work, yeah. In fact, I got the job right now. <laughs> I'm the job right now. Huh? So, what are you doing here, then? Well, the boss is away right now, and you know what mice do when the cat's away? Yes, yes. <sighs> anyway, how far away is this company? That's why we can't let Maya out of our sight. Let me see, about uh, 30 minutes by car, I guess. Well, you fly down the road, anyway. Hmm. Well, this apartment building is pretty close to Lordly Taylor, right? And it would take roughly an hour to go from here to KB Security and back. If Rundelight was at KB Security when the robbery occurred, then... Whoa! Then he couldn't have stolen the sacred urn. Nice. <laughs> hey, Nick, your phone. beep -boo. I had changed to this and I haven't been able to change it back in three years. <laughs> <laughs> Two years. Secretly. No, you have. Been trying to. No, he has been trying to. Maya keeps changing it back. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Pearl. Oh, that me. H Hello, is this the right residence? Uh, oh, Pearls, where are you? Uh, I thought I'd go to Lord Taylor to find out some more clues, but I'm afraid I've gotten lost. Oh. oh no! What? Give me the phone, Nick! P Pearly, where are you right now? Um, I was walking along and found myself in front of that person's office. That person? Who? Um, the person that doesn't act the stage and always hits Svati when he's excited. Look at me, Ace Detective. It's time for sap time! <laughs> okay, stay right there, we're coming to get you. All right, I'm a little scared. People, I'm a little nervous. All right, let's go, I'm Maya. Using <laughs> Wait a second, Nick. Nope. What? If this was on the Wii, then I'd be using tilt controls. <laughs> <laughs> the phone call just now sounded like a real cutie. Larry. Another one of your <clears throat> special friends. Larry, go away. Say goodbye to Mr. Light for me, would you, Larry? God damn it. Have I made that joke before? <laughs> Clueless? I guess I have. Okay, um, I guess we're moving to... at me. I didn't realize we had this much day left. Yeah, yeah me neither. Ah, oh, Mr. Nick! Mr. Maya! Early. I never thought I'd see you two again. Oh, we're here. <laughs> All better. So is Mr. Ace Detective out of the office? Yes, when I arrived here, there was a single soul in sight. Say, Nick, doesn't it look like Something's changed since we were here last? Hmm. Well, now that you mention it. it leaves his office unlocked. What could it possibly be? What could it be? Uh, Does oh. it look like it has... Does it have a different art style than the rest of the room? Kinda. Yeah, kinda. It's like... Um, probably mixed it up more. 
It's like the difference oh, between an animation cell and a background cell. Yeah. <laughs> this bag. I'm sure it wasn't here before. It looks quite full. I wonder what could be in here. A body. Hey, hmm. Nick. Come on, open it up. Stop doing crimes. Hey, wait a minute. We can't just open this his private property. Don't be such a fuddy duddy. This is an this is an important investigation. Well, that's true. And truth be told, I have to admit I am kind of curious. Also, I was super wrong about the letter. <laughs> well, what's in there? This is Gwyneth's head. Hang on a sec. I'm taking out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. Is it the urn? Mm -hmm. Well, hello there. Damn it. Ah, he's here! What are you doing, sir lawyer? Mm. I'm shocked to see a servant of the court. Oh. Court, ignoring the law so flagrantly. I I'm really sorry. Uh, Maya made me do it. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I can't believe you just throw you me under the bus like that. <laughs> Without hesitation, even. <laughs> A gentleman never uses a lady as an excuse for his poor behavior. The real question is, can you afford to waste time lollygagging about here? What do you mean by that? What does that word mean? Perhaps I should make myself more clear. Tomorrow's trial? Swari! Shall we say the future figurative Sir William will be dropping his panties before lunchtime? Huh. No. Is that really what you meant to say? Yes. I'm trying to Is think that of really what, what you saying. Meant to say? Of like what saying he's trying to reference. <laughs> wow, Nick. Sounds like it's gonna be really exciting. Is that what what he said means? <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's usually when a guy's like, "Oh, when I come into the room." <laughs> It sounds like a British saying. Oh, is that your look at me impression? <laughs> um, what's oh, going to happen? Oh. What's going to happen at the trial tomorrow that's so dramatic? So it's I making me. The only thing it's making me think of is like, uh, what was it? Have Prince Edward in a can or something like that? <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. It's so dramatic. Do you know what your biggest mistake so far has been, Sir Roy? Talking to you. It was, become, it was becoming a lawyer in the first place. Honestly, yeah. What? <laughs> Student loans, am I right? That certainly sounds like a big mistake, Mr. Nick. Pearl! No, per per Pearl, Pearl, have faith in us. <laughs> Tomorrow will be the day I to remember. I, look at me, will take the stand. And then, sorry, my testimony will prove to you the, to be the undoing of the lot of you. Yes, all of you. I will unmask you as the thieves' con conspirators. N no, Why no, no. And how? <laughs> conspirators? <laughs> You're back on the defensive, I see. However, it is not that I that is your greatest enemy. There is a far more dangerous threat that you will face during the trial. What are you talking about? Sir Lawyer, if you truly are who you say, I'm sure you've heard of him. His name is Godot. G Godot? It's not got it? No. no. Godot. No. It's Godot. <laughs> Godot. You take it a step that yeah, but that's apparently silent. I didn't le learn that until like two years ago, and I'm sad. Hmm. You have taken the step down from this path of foolishness. Foolishness. To try to defend a career criminal uh, who deserves nothing less than the death penalty. Damn. Hey, last time I checked, no one knows for sure who or that Mr. Delight really is Damas. Did my client <laughs> commit this murder? Did my client commit this murder? Probably. But probably isn't good enough. <laughs> but there's no murder. 
It just said my dear lady. My dear lady, times may change, but people, sadly, do not. Well, you will understand this when you are more mature. All right, tell me about Godot. Um, who is this Godot person? And where did the G go? I think it's Jay. a French name. It's a reference to a famous play. Uh. That's not the only time <laughs> T is silent in words. Yes, Jay. Words can be silent, no matter how much like, I hate it. It's not an unknown <laughs> concept. <laughs> it is not surprising that the spirit medium has not heard the name. <laughs> Look at this French word. It has every letter in the alphabet, and they're all silent. <laughs> Gotto! Oh. The chunk of a man. The prosecutor who's equally cannot be found in this country, but in heaven. Gotto, a legend or myth. Men pin a lifetime of hopes on the chance of simply meet him. <laughs> <laughs> prosecutor Gotto. <laughs> but the best prosecutor in the country isn't Gotto, it's, it's Mr. Edgeworth. Our boyfriend. Isn't that right, Nick? Didn't he stop being huh? a prosecutor? Mm. It's no surprise that a spirit medium such as yourself would know nothing of this. But eighth prosecutor Miles, uh, Miles Edwards is currently traveling abroad. So he's not in the country. Mm -hmm. Huh? In fact, it was Mr. Edwards who acknowledged Gatto as the best in the country. And you agree with that? Yeah, like there was. Yeah, they've definitely already slipped in some uh, some like sly jokes about the, the play. Most certainly. In fact, you could call him the look at me of the prosecutor's office. Okay, so he sucks. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. The prosecution has a fighting chance tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nick, is this Godo really that strong? This is probably my favorite, like, might be my favorite Pearl Sprite. Just ready it's to good. throw down. Hmm, I seem to remember hearing about someone like that before. Not surprising. Some people uh, spend their entire lives idly waiting for his appearance. God damn, see, we get it. We get it to reference. It looks like we're done investigating for the day. I, hey, I think most people one. don't. That was the one. <laughs> Sir Lawyer. Okay, so I guess for those who don't know, Waiting for Godot is a famous uh, absurdist play about two guys who are waiting for a who are just waiting for a man named Godot who never appears. We never learn who Godot is or why they're waiting for him. They're literally just spending the entire play like passing the time while waiting for this person, and then he never shows up ah. and the play ends. <laughs> I see. Good. The stage has been set, and all the pieces are finally in place. All that remains now. It's part of the dance to begin. A new prosecutor, an ace detective, and a thief. This will be one tough trial. Let's yeah, do it. Uh, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead is like probably yeah, the yeah, next yeah, most yeah, famous yeah. absurdist play. To be continued. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yes, I will save. This character. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> That's not left anymore. That's B or A. Happy <laughs> <laughs> hey, birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, birthday Sad! Yay! <laughs> wow. You are the witness, I guess, in this case. What a lovely place to spend my birthday! <laughs> um, who's gonna be the judge, real quick? Probably, probably you. Me, yeah, probably so you. either me or Lunar, depending on. I guess Lunar's gonna be Maya. So. Alright. Yeah. Hey, Nick. What is it? Is something wrong? Nah. But did you did you see all the people here? It's crazy. Oh, so check out the the mask, the mask glossy I bought. Does the courtroom have a merch stand now? <laughs> you you bought this where? Where'd you get this? 
From the little tents in front of the courthouse. They have all sorts of things for sale. Oh my god. You know I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Honestly, courthouses selling merch for high-profile cases is something I probably should have expected to happen by now. <laughs> uh, Lunar. Oh, Come right, on, Lunar. I'm... Huh? I was like, oh, yeah. right, Lunar is this person, too. Yeah. Come on, I'm guilty. Throw the book at me. <laughs> book to the head. Who's screaming like that? Oh, Mr. Wright, you made it! Yeah, I did, but it doesn't look like things are going to get any less ugly for you. Because I did it! I'm a criminal! Me! 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 Ugh, he's at it again. I sent the calling card to Larley Taylor, I admit it! But you don't have the sacred urn, right? Well, that's true, but... Princess Leia. That, mm. that doesn't mean that I didn't commit the crime. Normally, when I say, of course you didn't, I'm being sarcastic, but you... yikes. Anyway, I admit that I'm guilty. So make sure they give me the guilty verdict. Please! Oh, there you are, Ronnie! Bonjour, sweetie! Oh, Desiani! Bonjour! Well, I actually... Mwah, mwah. I don't know really... Or I don't... I really... I don't really know why I should be speaking French in a time like this. <laughs> oh, leave it all to me, Ronnie. I swear I'll protect you! Uh... Uh, uh, well, uh, y you see, actually, the thief is... Can I tell you something, Nicky boy? I can guarantee that my Ronnie is innocent. If he's declared guilty, oh, I'll be ever so cross with you. So why are you smiling when you say it? <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, I've got some errands I need to take care of. I'm counting on you, Nicky boy. Good luck. Mwah. To be honest, I really don't know whether Ron is masked, the mask or not. But there's only one thing I am sure of. He doesn't have the sacred urn right now. Ooh, Jay. Buffalo, please. Mr. Delay, it's time for you to enter the courtroom. Oh. For the time being, I guess I'll have to trust Desiree. Desiree is a friend. Okay. Godot is a French name. There he is. There he is. <clears throat> There's our boy. Oh, 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 pardon? What was that, Saps? You heard me. And know. there's our boy. Okay. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Ron Delight. The defense is ready, Your Honor. What about the prosecution? Are you prepared to... What a stupid question. Uh, Ooh. Jay? Yes. Oh, yeah, he said it. He said it. Oh no, I was like, was there something that's supposed to be turned on or no? Please no, no, that. he's good. He's good. Okay. What did you say? Fine, let me ask you then, Your Honor. Are you ready? Oh, this is a sultry voice. Are you ready to pass judgment? Oh, no, no, I'm not. I will pass judgment after I hear arguments from both sides. That's how this works. I'm thinking in this moment where I am the one with the Spanish accent and you are the old man and I am very <laughs> confused right now. <laughs> oh, that's a role reversal. <laughs> well, if you are not ready yourself, you shouldn't be expecting others to be. That is a rule to live by. You don't I'm know how this works. This. Um, I like this. Who are you? <laughs> I am Godot. I killed AJ. my name. What? Remember this song? This song. The song. <laughs> oh, this song. Jay has a different relation to this song. 
Why does Jay have a different relationship to this song? Because of Beat oh. Saber and some oh. really, really mean laser blocks. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Walugi. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary prosecutor, I have never lost a case. Huh. So, he's the one that Detective Atme was talking about. Yes, your reputation precedes you. What kind of cases have you dealt with so far? Ha! Ah, none. <laughs> 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 Excellent. <laughs> um, what did you say? I have never prosecuted a case before. Otherwise, never? But, but you said you'd never lost before. Correct. <laughs> exactly, I have never lost. I've never won before either. I don't like quite arrogant for a beginner, aren't you? <laughs> Even the mightiest of Redwoods begins their lives as a mere sapling. Yes, but a mask in a court of law? Ha! Do you not know anything? No matter the man, we are all wear masks. We put them on our face, and either are on our faces, or over our hearts. This guy is the real deal, right, Nick? <laughs> Why does it seem like all prosecutors are the real deal? <laughs> Maya is already one. done. <laughs> <laughs> so, we finally meet Mr. Phoenix Trite. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, is he a friend of yours? No, I don't have any friends that call me Trite. Just who is this masked man? <laughs> this mysterious fellow? Just who is that masked man? Who is that Meta Knight over there? I've returned from the uh. depths of hell to do battle with you. Fight me. Hmm? Well then, uh, uh, Prosecutor. Mm, what's this on my hand here? Gobo? <laughs> Gobo. <laughs> it is not Gobo, it's Gadot. No. 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 I've noticed uh. an error in our casting. <laughs> He's too cool to get bonked. <laughs> Give him time. <laughs> no. Ark, I don't. I hope you didn't have any uh, personal attachments to this character. No. Shut up. <laughs> in any case, please give your opening statement. Opening statement? Those things are not fit even for dogs to consume. <sighs> I have only one thing to say before we start. You, well, to you, Mr. Trite. <laughs> what was it? What? Are you familiar with the saying a chain is only as strong as its weakest link? I won't dare. How much you can withstand before you and your case break in two? Uh. Hmm. Well done. Let's hear from the first witness. Okay, hey! two things. Two yeah. things first. Somebody in the team, everybody in the team has officially voiced a prosecutor. Yay! Yay! All right! Except uh, second you? of all, I cosplayed as this character <laughs> to an Otakon many, many years ago. And it was very fun. I had a great time. And uh, if you guys remember, Jimmy, Jimmy was Gumshoe, Hannah was Maya, and a friend of ours was Larry. So why was I Godo? Don't ask me. I really like <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, my, my name is... Uh... No one asks you for your name, witness. <laughs> yeah. The important thing is what you know, that is all. Start talking. We are listening. Hey, uh, yeah, yes, sir. Uh... All right, witness. First, let's hear about what you know about the thief that stole the urn. Uh, yes, sir. Mask. The mask's oh. crimes. Oh, yeah, you don't have that. <laughs> See, I, I, I like doing that because that means everybody's going to play it at the same time. Everybody <laughs> scrambles to press the button. <laughs> uh, mask did... Oh, sorry. Mask. 
Demers is a master thief that uh, first started his crime spree like six months ago. Your star's a little quiet, Jay. A little bit. I will ascend my stars. He's so confident that he sends his calling card before he even commits the crime. That was his fifth heist, and as usual, he sent a card at to a lordly tailor. His pattern is to always go after only the most precious art pieces. That's why we're sure it was Mask. The mm. Mask, sir. It is still it fits quiet. his uh, Moat. <laughs> it fits his Mott. Hmm. I could go for some mots right now. Bailiff, Ooh. apple juice. <laughs> hmm. So then the actual identity of this <clears throat> mask. The mask is. <laughs> m m Mr. Godot, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Begins. <laughs> Take a sip. Take a sip. We're in the middle of a trial here, Mr. Godot. Blackier than moonless night. Hearts are more bitter than hell itself. That is coffee. I am sipping some coffee right now myself. I am sure you can grant me at least this much, Your Honor. Oh, please proceed. Um, very well. It's only coffee after all. Eh, <laughs> he bought it. What? You can't be letting him slide this early in the trial. I mean, Phoenix, he let, he let Frenzy scab a whip. Yeah. Yeah. Proceed with your cross examination, Mr. Wright. I'm not going to get this coffee myself. Oh. <laughs> well, Nick. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> what are you going to do? As long as they haven't brought up Mr. Delight's identity, we, all we can do is show that it wasn't Mask uh, the Mask who stole the urn. Wait. If Ron is the defendant, then that's implied, right? So if we show that there's reasonable doubt over whether Ron is mask to mask, then that's the case, right? Oh yeah, if we show that mask to mask actually did steal the urn and Ron doesn't have it, that means we're scot-free. Mm. <laughs> is that a single scot in this entire nation, wherever we are? Like, all Fair. we really have to do is show that Ron has an alibi. Which, no. I know reasonable doubt isn't a thing, but like, come on. Should be. Mask. The mask is a master thief that started his crime spree six months ago. Wait, we don't need to. Oh, wait, no, this, oh yeah, this is. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is, okay. Um, oh, I just want to test out my new star powers, you know. I just want to make sure I can. Oh, God, it's your star power. Yeah. Sounds good now. You are the superstar. Have you been involved in the investigation from the beginning? Yep. No one knows more about that thief than me, pal. Not a single person can think of a single one. <laughs> it's true, I am a... Zavari. <laughs> author on thieves. Aw, oh, he's trying to be like... <laughs> <laughs> like Luke. Uh. Author? He's written books about thieves? Uh, I think he probably meant to say authority. The fact that this guy can slip through even my finger shows how good he is, pal. Yep, yep. I have very strong fingers. <laughs> it's easy when those fingers happen to be butter fingers. Oh, my dominant. Is he still a homicide detective after everything he's been through? Let's press harder. Yes. Hard to say. So nobody m knows more about the thief than you, huh? You got it, pal, except maybe for that uh, thief's mom, that is. <laughs> But isn't there someone who knows even more about him than the police? Hey, you don't mean. Detectives worry, do you? Hmm? Who is this person? Zvari? He sounds German. His name is, uh, look at me, sir. I guess I shouldn't have made him up to such a silly name for him. I, I, just, <laughs> I like to say Zvari. What the heck? I guess he's not all that famous after all. Anyway, it's true that he did manage to retrieve the last item from the, the, the thief stole again. Yeah. Oh, I see. It seems you're not the expert you claim to be. 
Uh, well, it looks like the thief is toying with me even now, so it, um, it's very hard. This is calling card before he commits the crime. Have you seen all these so-called calling cards? Of course I have, except the poison in charge of the treasure expedition uh, never brought their card to the police. So I didn't see this one until after the crime uh, occurred. Hmm. That's because Detective Atme stopped Miss Andrews from taking it to the police. Sus. Was the calling card that Lordly Ted received authentic? Well, all the cards have at least one common uh, identifying feature. But uh, we're not releasing that information to the uh, general public. But you're absolutely certain that this card is real. Gumshoe sure can't say it out loud, but I bet he's talking about mask. The mask emblem. Here's a card, fifth heist. It's fifth heist, and your fifth screw up, huh? And he didn't do anything, he didn't even know what was gonna happen. <laughs> Objection, pal! That ain't fair, maybe you could say I screwed up like four times. But this last time wasn't <laughs> my fault. I didn't know about the, the calling card at this time, so it's, you, you know, can't get you him. get him, Gumshoe, get him. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you. You of all people shouldn't be chuckling about this, Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, just the fact that the, um, Andrews didn't or was told not to bring the calling card to the police is kind of a big deal. Is it? It's a little. I just want everyone here in the courtroom to know something. If you ever get a calling card from this guy, don't call some stupid private eye. Call your local police right away, got me? You'll, you'll get me. That's, that's the thing. You, 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 you'll get me. <laughs> no! Call the private eye! <laughs> It looks like he's really got it in for Detective at me. Don't blame him. Precious art pieces. Oh, well, we can okay. probably object to that right away because we know that the urn was worthless. Art pieces? <laughs> like what, for example? Uh, she's right here. I, I'm sorry, priceless. <laughs> 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 well, his first target was the famous uh, Tear of Eminon. Oh, what's that? Some kind of... Especially salty teardrop? Uh, no, sir. It's it's a blue diamond, a single rare uh, diamond. Uh, next was the crown of Bulgaria. Uh, Bulgaria. You, you know the, the thing you put on your head. Yeah. <laughs> After that, there was the left hand of Hades, and then the uh, portrait of Magina, sir. Not as good as the right hand. <laughs> Detective at me re retrieved the portrait of Magina and in return uh, uh, put it in the museum. And the target of his fifth and last robbery was the sacred urn, right? But isn't it difficult for him to, dis to dispose of such famous art pieces? Well, we assumed he must have some uh, underworld connections. Somehow, Mr. Delight doesn't look the type. Mrs. Delight, on the other hand. <laughs> yeah, he's a little too sunny to be hanging out in the underworld. Diamond would be. <laughs> Diamond is a really good Ace Attorney name. Yeah. <laughs> we already had D Vasquez, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's Daya and Mondo from uh, Danganronpa, right? Oh, yeah. Mm. Diane. I forgot about that. Yeah, Diane yeah. Mondo. Yeah. Okay, brother. What do you mean when you say it fits his MO to a T, exactly? Ruby Emerald. Oh, is my what? Ruby S. Emerald. <laughs> I was thinking of asking the same thing myself. Uh, well, I, I wish you'd listen a little more closely, pal. Boys the ball, there's... The calling card, we're 100% certain it's authentic. Then there's the fact that he seemed to know all the security system. And finally, his target was an art piece. These are all part of the thief's modus operandi. 
I wouldn't call the urn an art piece, but I guess like a diamond isn't really art either, but still kind of in the vague category. Yeah. As like as opposed to like robbing like money or gold or something. Yeah. And so, since this robbery seems to fit all those conditions. Oh, that's right. It means that the uh, mask, the mask is behind it. Nick, it definitely, it definitely looks like it was mask, uh, the mask that was behind it. But there's no real evidence either way as to whether Ron Delight is mask to mask. But, but. Also, the urn hasn't turned up yet, let alone in connection to Mr. Delight himself. So, even though we know it was mask to mask that did it. <gasps> I just thought something that might it. be it might be spoilers for later on. Oh. Maybe for the time being, I should try to show that it wasn't mask to mask that did it. Okay, so boom, boom, confidence, hard, fifth highest card, the most precious artifact. Okay, um, present. Urn, supposedly priceless, but has no monetary value. Okay, this is, this is good. Yeah. Sure. Sounds good. Can I ask you a little something, Detective Gumshoe? Just hearing the little in that question is making me nervous. A little nervous. <laughs> You're a little you nervous. Said, <laughs> you said that he always goes after the most precious art pieces, right? Nah, that's right, pal. But there's one problem. That's not what he did in this case. The supposedly priceless urn doesn't exactly rise to the level of precious art. Well, what do you mean? Nick, how can you say such a terrible thing? No, I, I meant from a financial point of view. I mean, it wouldn't fetch a very good price. Well, pros pro Prospector Godot, what is the value of that urn? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> I started to make a mistake, and then I thought, you know what? I'll just go f go with it. Yeah, I've, I've never done that before in my life. Anyway, <laughs> the appraisers I spoke to said they couldn't catch a price of it. And I mean that in the voice sense. Ooh. So in other words, it was not the kind of item that mask to mask would normally go after. Hey. If I understand you correctly, Mr. Wright, you're saying that the theft of the sacred urn was not the work of <clears throat> mask to <the> mask. <laughs> yes, Thank that's you. what I'm saying. Thank you, Bailiff. <laughs> Bailed up with a tape recorder. <laughs> Actually, all I did was point out the contradiction. The argument made itself, but... Well, first of all, we do need to get this issue cleared up. Was this last robbery the work of Mask? Damask or not? <laughs> a little slow on that button there, Bailiff. <laughs> what do you have to say about this, Mr. Godot? Okay, that's, that's enough there. <laughs> what do you have to say about this, Mr. Godot? Coffee. Mask stylish to man. <laughs> this coffee <laughs> here is, is my own special blend. I call it Godot 107. I'm trying to detect or decide whether to cut down on the acidity or the bitterness. Have you tried making cold brew? <laughs> That's the only thing I've got my mind on right now. Mr. Turret. I feel like this guy would have very strong opinions about cold brew. What if one day Godot just brings in enough for everybody? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, what if that? What if? What if? It'd be a good day. If you're really a man, you should clean up your own mess. Uh, sorry, but I don't get what you mean. If you're saying that it wasn't mask, be masked that stole the urn. Then it must be someone in imitating mask, the masked method, uh, method, a fake. Mm. Oh, 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 a fake? The mask? Fake the mask. 
fake? <laughs> to mask? That sounds so ridiculous, but I like it. Now, before I decide on my coffee, I believe some proof is in order, Mr. Trite. Proof that the person who appeared in Lordly Taylor that night was actually a fake. I feel like the burden of proof shouldn't be on the defense in this case, but okay. Also, I just noticed the little straps he has on his sleeves. Like an old-timey bartender. Mm. Yeah. Though I don't approve of Mr. Godot's behavior, his point is valid. Mr. Wright, we're waiting. I'm such a fan of Godot's design. I'm sorry, I'm just going to nerd out about it. It looks like I'm going to have to approve it. I need proof that the person at Lordly Taylor that night was, in fact, fake Damask. Uh, Wait, um, Wander and Ned and Jay, could you read what Clueless posted? Oh, Judge. <clears throat> Did you bring enough to share, Prosecutor Godot? <laughs> Godot pulling well, out an entire cop machine. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> pulling out an entire cop machine is terrible because of imported coffee beans. Where did you get the idea that I wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to check Fair. this. Okay, so we got um, a guy. He's got like a little, little face on his chest and on his hat. A couple feathers, some fancy shoulder thingies. Cuffs. Crown cuffs. Okay. Does Godot say that he his favorite cup is black? I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Black I think, coffee. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he said he drinks black. I I, I like I mean, a, I a splash of cream in there. I can do black coffee, but why? Why would you? It depends. Yeah, same. I lately I've been getting really into oat milk in coffee. Oh yeah, it's, it's pretty. I've good. been trying to move away from dairy. Nice. Okay. So what are we gonna present here? Oh, you do not have a little face on your oh, chest. Oh yeah, he doesn't have. Yeah. Um. Okay, I mean, that might not be solid evidence, but it's something. Um, what do I present, though? Uh, I you probably have to present the that photo. security first, and then probably the other later. Maybe. Or they will save the other later. Wait. Uh, oh, no, the wallet that was not found at the scene of the crime. Mm. Yeah, this is getting ahead of it. We need to give evidence that the person who did the crime was not masked the does not matter about Ron at all. I'm gonna say the picture. Yeah, yeah I that feel picture. like us trying to prove that it wasn't actually Master Mask is kind of falling into a trap because they can say, "Okay, I guess Ron isn't Master Mask, but he still did it." Gotcha. Okay. Um. All right. Let's try this. Oh. The proof is right here. This looks like a photo taken by a security camera. But if you look closely, you'll notice something peculiar about it. <laughs> well then, why don't you just go ahead and show it what show us what it is? Because I, I obviously see it. Go on, use this pointer and show us what you think that it is. You call it. Mm. Take that. Take that. It's right here, of course. You mean mask to mask? <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> I, I have here a piece of reference that I would like the court to take a look at. Isn't that the publicity photo I brought this morning? Or bought it's this evidence. morning? It is Bottom evidence now. <laughs> the problem I have with the security camera photo is the brooch on Damask's chest. A breach here? B Bevanif, get my steed! We need to retreat at once! Your <laughs> steed? <laughs> <laughs> a, a brooch, your honor. It's a sort of clasp for holding one's cape on. His, his steed is gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> a, a clasp, eh? Uh, oh, I see now! <laughs> but, uh, the mask, the mask in the security camera photo. Ah, it, it has no brooch. That brooch is the same as the emblem on Damask's calling card and serves as his symbol. But the thief that broke into Lordly Taylor wasn't wearing a brooch. 
in other words. This mask, the mask is a fake. That I've been fooled again. Oh, no, it's true, undeniably true. Detective Gumshoe, how, how could you have overlooked this? I'm sorry, sir. I, I don't know how I get there. Hey, no. <laughs> You're an R star. It's a game of. <laughs> You're an all. If you're going to have a pity party, invite me too. Mr. Godot, you deserve some blame in this too. How could you have overlooked such a large brooch? Ah, the brooch you're talking about? You mean this? You mean, you mean this, this one? one? You mean, you mean this, this brooch? <laughs> 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 hey! Well, hold on. If that has if if that has the symbol of mask to mask, then then why he shouldn't be showing that in public, right? Uh, mm, I think it's the card that matters. I think it's just the fact that it's on the calling card. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. That's masked. Uh, the mask brooch. Also, it's on the the poster that's outside. So. Oh, yeah. that's true. Duh. Where did you find it? Well, I've always had the good sense, or good nose, for evidence. I got it at the crime scene. You removed evidence from a crime scene? <laughs> it was hidden in the shadow of the big female Buddha statue. Hey. Faye. That's Amy Faye, thank you. Buddha statue. Uh, she, she has a name. He must, must mean the Amy Faye statue. Why didn't you tell me about that, Zoe? Good question. I always put evidence uh, away in my pocket. Wow, you suck that, at this. Also, <laughs> I never illegal. wear gloves. Also, I never wear gloves. <laughs> After all, the safest place for a oh, it's the safest place for crucial evidence. Yes. I don't think Phoenix wants to talk, though. <laughs> no, no, not at all. This guy is one cool customer. It's a little early to be shaken up this though, isn't it, little lady? Just once, I want this judge to say to a prosecutor, this evidence will not be accepted into court. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was actually, um, Francisca submitted a photo of Mia in the, um, the detention center while she was being channeled. Yeah, she, um, like, she knew uh... it wouldn't be admissible, but she just wanted the effect of people seeing it. Yeah, I guess she, she, well, yeah, she was very smart about that. Yeah, anyway. What? You don't remember that? Gato. No, the hickey part. No, so. Oh. <laughs> that friend of yours pretty, uh, left pretty little hickeys on there, too. <laughs> hickeys? Uh, oh, my. I, 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 uh, figuratively speaking, of course, I'm referring to Ron Delight's fingerprints. Uh, where? What? The defendant's fingerprints are on the brooch? I guess we'll have to trust you that you found it at the scene of the crime. <laughs> when none of the officers did. <laughs> order, order in the court. Mr. Godot, let's see that brooch. I've uh, grown attached to my metallic girlfriend here. Gross. Take good care of her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. She, I, I mean, it appears to have been torn off some clothing. There's a little bit of cloth left on the back. Obviously, there must have been a big struggle that night at the crime scene. Oh, he pulled out, he pulled out the robot voice. He's getting now. He's getting didn't. That was that, that was Discord. Discord. That was Discord. Yeah. It's that. that oh, is a big yeah, yeah, that, that is, is what happens to you dude. occasionally too. Oh, Discord. Uh, uh oh, Phoenix, we have a problem. Ha! You mess with Godot. And you get burned. Okay. Like his throat right. right now. He's been playing me like a violin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Well, Judge, I'm always ready to call my next witness. What was that joke? No, violins are actually quite difficult to play. I play you like the cheap kazoo you are. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, you're, you're done with me, but I haven't proved anything yet. You've proven your own incompetence. That's good enough. That doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> Sorry, Gumshoe. <laughs> Bailiff! Bring the next witness into the courtroom. Finally time for the ace detective to make his appearance, huh? There he is! One second, there uh, is one drip of coffee coffee pot. Oh, let's hurry it up. Silence! <laughs> now I see. It's all becoming clear. What's clear? Swari! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. What we have here is a judge and a prosecutor. A coffee maniac at that. Am I correct? No. Well, yes, that's that's right. Um. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. Encourage him. <laughs> You're the first person that I've been able to penetrate my secret veil. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, sir prosecutor, let me introduce myself. My name is to look at me. He's a detective of, and a rising star of uh, illuminating the heavens. Boy, these two make a perfect pair. They'd either be best friends or they'd tear each other's heads off. I hope we forgot a good winning. Oh, I've heard that on the night of the crime, you were all alone on security detail. All alone on a Friday night? <laughs> Pathetic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have heard correctly. Or was it Saturday night? Doesn't matter. It's Friday. It was Friday. My specialty is uh, made monocle. It's uh, worth more than a hundred detective gum shoes. Honestly, it's probably true. With the salary he's making. Very rude. If detective gum shoe was worth anything, that is. Very oh, rude. Be nice. I am. Hmm. You, you two are going to be working together for the rest of the franchise. You better warm up, man. Why was this guy all by himself anyway? There must be some reason. I'm sure of it. Well, then, tell us what this special monocle of yours witnessed. What do you uh, see with your special eyes? <laughs> My special eye? Your special eye. It was approximately one o'clock in the morning, just after the date changed. Um, the photo said 50, 58 minutes after, okay. That's when my nemesis, the infamous mask, the mask, dancingly descended upon me. Just as I began to return, the coward struck a fierce blow upon my noble head. Darkness swallowed me before I could land a single strike. When I awoke, he was gone. Thirty minutes later, I used an emergency phone to notify the police. Aw, oh, Twitch. Well, glad you're here, Thunder. Twitch! So you didn't get a clear look at the criminal? <laughs> My specially made monocle never misses a thing. However, that is limited uh, to things that fall within my own visual range. Oh, no. But of course, that's only natural. I fail to see why the witness seemed so proud of his performance that evening. Well, Sir Oldtimer, let me explain. We are not speaking of any ordinary thief. But we are the, uh, but the king of the thieves, the great mask, the mask, my <laughs> arch enemy. <laughs> That is what my instincts and my years of experience tell me. 
Very well. Proceed with the cross examination, <laughs> Mr. Wright. What was there something I said? Well, about that. I'm thinking like it's gonna evolve into like the lucky sound effect, and then yeah, the and then it just trick. goes off rails from here. And then like the first, just the first two notes Guys. of Megalovania. Guys, what if next stream we all come back with a million star sound effects? Great. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it did. You've planted the idea. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's press some stuff. So that would be one o'clock on the morning of the 12th, correct? That is an impressive deduction, sir, lawyer. You were on security Mask. duty that night. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> Where exactly were you at the time? A penetrating question. I was in the basement uh, warehouse near the computer. And okay. Near the computer, huh? Still not good, good enough reason to use the word penetrate. <laughs> so you then, so then you weren't trying to remain hidden, I take it? Up to this point, I have tried to remain concealed while waiting for the thief. Yeah, he said the same thing yesterday, too. Gumshoe also said that they've never spotted the thief at the, uh, the thief at the crime scenes before. Precisely. That is precisely why I chose not to hide last night. I knew that by not concealing myself, I would be putting pressure on the thief. Looks like the thief was the one applying pressure. On your pigeony head, that is. Pigeony? Sure. In any case. <laughs> Dancingly descended from where exactly? <laughs> well, from the entrance, I suppose. What else? So in actuality, he neither danced nor descended. Someone please save me. <laughs> um, how is it that you didn't notice the thief? My eyes were looking for the thief's shadow while my ears were listening for his footfalls. But even so, that dastardly criminal managed to sneak up on me. It can only be due to his subtly camouflaged cape and soft soled shoes. Well, I you. hereby dub you Ace Dunce. <laughs> <laughs> a Dunce. Here's Blow Noble. Oh, head. but you didn't see the criminal's face when that happened. Well, that's the difficult part. How should I put it? I saw his mask. That's all I can recall. Mm, that's not very solid as far as a testimony goes. However, fortunately, I had my third monocle. The security camera at the ready. What's your you second? Have one. You don't have you a don't second monocle. You don't want to know. You don't want to know about my second monocle. Oh. It's a it captured. Everybody. <laughs> it, it captured his image perfectly. This should be sufficient, I believe. Mm, well, as long as this photo was authentic, I don't see a problem here. Well, Mr. Godot, do you have a problem with this photograph? Good. Then let's continue with the testimony. <laughs> Good use of Sprite. Yeah. <laughs> Attacked and knocked unconscious, and you weren't able to do a thing. The second monocle is in my pants, and by that I mean in my pocket. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> He's got a spare. That's certainly some very impressive detective work. <laughs> well, sir, a lawyer. Have you ever been suddenly struck on the head? I've been yes. tased. <laughs> no, I've been struck we've been, on the head. We've been struck in the head, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yes, actually, uh, by a fire extinguisher. And what happened? You've lost your memory. I was knocked out. <laughs> and you lost your memory, too. Yeah. You see, you have no right to look at, down on me, then, do you? The only reason I didn't lose my memory was because I have more brains to begin with. 
He may have brains, but the wiring to the self-reflection part seems to be severed. In any case, that was how I not senseless. How I was not senseless. And then... Would have been funny if Nick didn't remember it. It's like, actually, I don't think I have ever been struck in the head. Then Maya chimes in. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Thought of the minutes later, I use it. Uh, thirty minutes. About this thirty minutes. My silver cord was loosened, then my soul fled to the golden halls of Elysium. Of Elysium. As usual, I have no idea, uh, idea what this guy is saying. I think he's saying he was out cold. <laughs> he died. So what happened I during these thirty minutes? No one can say, Your Honor, that span of time was truly vanished into the ether. So this guy's useless as a witness. Just what is he going on about? There's something suspicious about Detective Atme. How could he not have noticed when the thief came in? Also, he says he was knocked unconscious before he could fight back. But that can't be right. It contradicts the evidence. Huh? Which piece? The real question is, why would he tell such an obvious lie? Oh, there's evidence of a struggle. Mm -hmm. He says he was knocked out without a struggle. And the evidence says that there was a struggle. It's gotta be that one. Yeah, before I could land a single strike, and then we have to present evidence of a struggle. Like the this. Looks like it was torn yep. off clothing. Um, yeah, that's probably the only evidence that shows that there was a struggle. Sure. All right. Objection. Fun Objection. fact, there are two places you can put the press this one. This testimony uh -huh. before two also works. Okay. Oh, hmm. interesting. Should do Mr. That Atme. Could you take a look at this with that special monocle of yours? Ah, oh, this belongs to the criminal mastermind. My arch nemesis. Mask. The mask. <laughs> It is, in point of fact, mask, the mask's brooch. It was found on the floor of the basement warehouse. I wonder how that happened. Ha! Huh. Elementary, my dear lawyer. Obviously, it wasn't glued on well enough. Yeah. Mm -mm. Not quite. It clearly shows signs of having been ripped off a piece of clothing. Did anyone else just hear a Mario 64 star <laughs> collection sound? That's how we pronounce the star <laughs> in Mask yeah. the Mask's name. Stars have many names. <laughs> Ripped off? Aha! Uh -huh. We can only deduce that the thief struggled with someone that night. That's the only thing I can think of. The Mask to use struggle. And there's only one person that was in a position to have a struggle with the thief. The only person that was on security duty that night. You, Detective Atme! When Charger Bug runs out of PP, struggle bus. No! <laughs> Detective Atme, you must have fought with the thief that night. So why did you lie in your testimony to the court? Witness! Giving false testimony is a serious crime. Err, uh, I... no. Uh, which is the moment, sir, old timer? Trilling the R and the er is just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me like I'm living in a nursing home. I live in a condo. You aren't? You aren't? <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered, your honor. I was just confused because I've been dealing with so many cases lately. <laughs> Provide evidence that, evidence that you've been dealing with sev with multiple cases. Uh, do I have to? The true measure of a man is the amount of work he does. That's what I always say. Nick, you can only handle one case at a time. Isn't that right? And I need right. several months between cases. <laughs> You, you talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> Witness, so are you now saying that you and the thief fought? 
Hold on, that's quite enough, Your Honor. Excuse me? Saves the big questions for the testimony. That's one of my rules. Indeed, I understand. I look at me, agree completely. Oh, no. We're perfect for each other. <laughs> Maybe he's good Joe's gum chew. Oh. Mm. Indeed, it's true that I uh, looked away from the uh, door at the brief moment. However, look at me, cannot be so easily discombobulated. Unfortunately, the thief grabbed the weapon from the side and rendered me senseless. A true gentleman fights only with his own bare fists, but they were not enough. His first blow was struck through. Bam! And that's all she wrote. So in the end, you did catch a glimpse of <clears throat> Mask. The Mask. Correct. It was during his third crime that he struck me from behind. It seems that my memory has become a tad jumbled, so to speak. Hmm, well that's certainly understandable. I myself always get confused about which testimony goes with which case. Ho, 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 ho. No. Judge, no. That can't be good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look away from the door for a brief moment. So why did you look away from the door anyway? In addition to the camera, I had prepared a variety of other sensors as well. The alarm on one of those had gone off, so I had to check the data. And this is the first we're hearing about it. That's why I went to the computer. Elegantly, of course. So you were momentarily vulnerable when you were working on the computer. What should I do? Should I ask some more questions? Usually. Uh, um, yeah. What's the sensor? the sensor? What kind of sensors do you talk about? There are other places in the basement uh, that someone could enter and exit from. There are... Uh, there are air conditioner ducts, sewer pipes, and the cat door as well. A cat door? <laughs> Show us the we cat. We love cats. I hooked up heat uh, detected infrared and ultraviolet sensors to each of them. That's a lot of hardware. Was all yours? Lorely Taylor at the department store. <laughs> God, that was a lot of hardware. Was kind enough to provide the monitoring hardware. Naturally, the security camera that took the photo belongs to them as well. In other words, he couldn't have rigged the equipment, huh? <laughs> Has that cleared any up any doubts you had on me, Mr. Lawyer? No. I'm gonna ask about the computer next. Okay. So why did you look away from the door anyway? It looks like I'm at that again. Come on. Well, Tell me a little more. <laughs> Come on, talk about the computer this time. Oh, did that computer belong to, to Lordly Taylor as well? Correct. Well, except for the program that manages the data. That was specifically designed by me. Look at me! In that case, he could have easily manipulated the data. <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Lo Sir Lawyer? However, oh, look at me, cannot so easily be discombobulated. Oh, uh, what's that mean, discombobulated? <laughs> hmm. Young people these days, they really irritate me. <laughs> They're now perfectly good old words to die until everyone forgets what they mean. Hmm. Sorry, but what exactly does it mean, anyway? Oh, I've forgotten. What, what was I saying? Where am I? Who are you people? Why is this... Why does nobody here know discombobulated? Jeez, it's better than old people who forget what they were saying five seconds ago. Well, it looks like we've cleared that up. 
You can go on with your testimony. <laughs> thank, thank you, Gudel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, weapon from the side. What do you mean by weapon from the side? Naturally, a thief had no idea that I, Luke Acme, was hiding in the area. He grabbed the sword from the statue that was standing by the door to the warehouse. Sword? You mean the sword that was all twisted like a tree branch? Correct! Fortunately for me, the blade was not sharp. Okay, so he is talking about the she she she, she toe. The host said, horrible job, everyone, let's move on. So he <laughs> armed himself with the sword. And what about yourself, witness? Okay, this probably says, fist is on fist, they were not Fists! Tell me about your fists. Hold it. You had that much faith in your own fighting abilities. But of course, in college, I was the second in charge of the boxing club. I'm sorry if I failed to find that appropriately impressive. Ouch. <laughs> You'll be fine. Continue! Do I have to? Yes. <laughs> However, my opponent in the ring with this time was my uh, arch nemesis. Mask. The mask. This guy's a real piece of work. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's all she wrote. Yes! Oh, that. Can you tell us a little more about that? About what happened? No. <laughs> My opponent was both powerful and vicious. You may say he was powerless. I actually would say that. W e i r i c i o u s. Powerless. Powerless? No, no, no. Mm -mm. Maybe if I just don't respond. I assume the acme fighting stance. But a sudden flash of light blinded me. That, of course, was checkmate. My opponent had bested me. What do I do now? Should I ask him more, some more about this? <laughs> At me fighting style? <laughs> uh, so what, uh, what is this At me fighting style? Can you show, me, show me some moves. I'm sorry, but that's a trade secret. I really can't say anymore. But... I suppose I can tell you if I absolutely must. The main thing is to put your back to the wall. That way no one can get behind you. Oh, oh my god. <sighs> That's it? That's the at me fighting style? <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, what about that testimony? It's very um, important. Was your honor is so important. Was it so important? Was it important? I'm, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to choose between adding this and adding whatever the other thing is. But we should was... see what the other thing is first. Yeah. Because the, the only information we get from that is that his back was to the wall. Well, I guess it's true that Atme was knocked senseless, senseless after all. I better ask him about something else instead. Well, what do you think, Nick? Come at me. Come at me as his father. <laughs> well, there's one thing that I'm absolutely sure of now. Yeah? What is it? This Luke at me guy. He's definitely hiding something. But, but why? I think he's trying to figure out what really happened that night. And about the true nature of this detective. That I'm lonely, right? Hmm. Mm. Right. Show me that look at me style again. Um. <laughs> <laughs> How delicious. Alright, you were blinded. Because uh, that could easily just be. Oh, yeah, you know, like I got hit in the head and then, you know, everything flashed white for a second. But if yeah. it says there was a. Br actually was a bright light, that's new info. So, what was this flash of light that blinded you? Flash of light. Crash I was painted in a golden light that seemed to come from the statue of the woman. The statue of Amy Faye, I'm guessing. Well, that wasn't very much help at all. 
Well, what do you think, Nick? Okay, so... Light reflected off of the statue. Well, there's one okay. thing that I'm absolutely sure of okay, now. This is we all already said this. Yep, we yep, already um, said You can't even add it. Yeah, it has to be the other thing. Poster. Oh, he did, they didn't even give me the option of adding this. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Better go see do what I not was. get a map of the dark room? No. I guess not. Okay. Okay. So that was his last statement? Yes. Oh, dang it. Wrong button. <laughs> well, what do you think, uh... I think. This you know, guy that's sucks. the trouble with like the last statement is that if you move on from it, it always goes to the other scene and you have to start over. Yeah. Why is he so suspicious? Okay, Why? this. Don. Can you tell G. us a little more about what happened? Gomez explained this pun with Don. Don't at me. God damn. It. <laughs> no wait. Wait no. Don't at. It'll be Don. Yeah. Don't me. at me. Or dawned on me. Don't at me. Oh, <laughs> god damn it. Should I? <laughs> <laughs> Don't at me. God damn it. Can you tell us a little more about what happened? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna just. Okay, fighting style. Take a sip. Take a sip. Alright. I'm gonna need you to show me one more time the Luke at me fighting pose. It's very important somehow. So important. Of course it's important. We learned a detective secret technique after all. Yes indeed. I'll remember to use it if I ever take a walk alone late at night. <laughs> Why the heck is he eyeballing me like that? It's creeping me out. Now then, witness. We'll go ahead and add that secret information to your official testimony. I put my back to the wall to fight, but the thief's blow landed upon my third eye. Third eye, meaning his forehead, his brow. Uh, where's this third eye you're talking about? Oh, it's right between my uh, right and left eyebrows. It's quite invisible to the unenlightened. You may call it the forehead if you like. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? Sir Lawyer, it looks like the creases in your own forehead are getting deeper. So, Mr. Atme got hit on the head, or hit on the forehead then? That's what he says. Hmm. I've got a funny feeling about that. Actually, so do I. Well, what do you think, Nick? I think we're back to repeating dialogue. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. Well, it's blah, gotta blah. be that. Right. Oh, get. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> also, memory. So, did it, did it replace. No, it did not. Back to the wall to fight, but the thief's blow landed upon my third eye. Hmm. with a fountain pen. How do we know that? <laughs> oh, no. We read it. I'll take that red diamond you received the other day. If you don't want your trade in maybe maybe security, I'll take that red diamond you received the other day instead. That's something that they didn't mention in the uh, dialogue. Nope. Oh yeah. And who do we know that has a red diamond, or that recently received a red diamond? Wait, didn't he take a blue diamond? No. no? I'm talking about uh, Luke's ring, which was a reward for returning the painting in the, the last oh. mask thing. Also, can diamonds be red? Maybe? Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, okay, security camera... Back to the wall and 
got hit in the forehead. Knocked out me during the crime with a blow to the back of the head. I feel like, uh, I mean, it's probably this, but I feel like he'll just say, yeah, I was wrong with my testimony earlier. We already went, we already went over that. Diamonds can be pink. I know that's from the universe of Stephen Gunn. Hmm. Oh, red diamonds are the rarest type of diamond. Mm -hmm. Oh. Neat. Okay. That means his ring is really valuable. I figured it was like a ruby or something. It's oh. Galaxia. So should we try this? Yeah. Sure. That's the only thing that talks about a place on his head. Detective at me, your testimony is crumbling like a house of cards. What fun this is, sir lawyer. It is truly a pleasure to cross swords with you. And now, once again, you have thrown down the gauntlet at my armored feet. Good one, Violet. I believe this is what you said yesterday. No, the cavern must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with the gruesome item there. From behind, huh? But just now you testified that he struck you on the forehead. I hardly think you could forget where you were hit on the head. Uh, it seems I made another mistake. Mm-mm, Detective Batman. That's not the only strange part of your testimony. What do you mean by that? For example, the very fact that you hid the calling card from the police itself is strange. It's almost as if you were afraid that they were going to help with security. Oh. Uh, genius is such myself. I was all misunderstood. How sad. That's, that's wrong. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's his, that's his canon, I guess, in-game voice. Objection! <laughs> to err is human. To forgive is divine. To error. To error. <laughs> Humans aren't machines, they have souls, feelings. Are you? They are live, you? they die, they love, they hate. And yes, they even make mistakes. Bruh, this is a court of law. Hold up! Uh, it's not as pretty as that. <laughs> really? What is it like then? <laughs> Always chase a riddle down to the end. That is one of my many, many rules. You do have a lie. This is it. This might just be my chance to turn things around. Mr. Wright, what exactly is it that you're asserting? Very well, Your Honor. The defense asserts that... Mr. Atme is no ace detective, that this Mr. Atme is a fake. <laughs> Mr. Atme <laughs> is mask to mask. Hmm. Honestly, I think this is it, but I'm not sure if we have evidence for it. Yeah, There's it's no... too much of a stretch right now. Well... It should be fake to mask. I mean, okay, so Mr. Atme is a fake is obviously the joke response. Which I mean is no ace detective. Just saying that he sucks at his job probably isn't going to do enough, but like, accusing a witness of being the actual criminal is kind of our MO. Let's yeah, do it. That's true. Let's do it. The answer is simple. It's all clear to me now. If you don't have evidence, bluff. Yes, thank you, man. Detective, <laughs> detective Luke at me's true identity is actually Mask to Mask. Oh. Oh, we got corner music. Order, order in the court. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? There are too many unnatural parts to Mr. Atme's story. Why is this not because he was... he's a liar? He says he was hiding at the crime scene, which is why no one ever saw him there. And then in his last case, he manages to outperform Detective Gumshoe and the entire police force to miraculously retrieve the stolen treasure. That's because I analyzed the crime scene with data and made an exquisitely elegant deduction. I picked up clues that the police overlooked in order to arrive at the... Mm -mm. 
Oh, please. The explanation is far simpler than that, Detective at me. The truth is that you are, in fact, Mask to Mask. <laughs> but, Mr. Wright, this photo it clearly shows <clears throat> Mask. Mask to Mask. <laughs> <laughs> what was that one? Play that one again. Exactly what you were hoping. <laughs> yes. <laughs> God damn. That was not me! That was not me! It was me! <laughs> Thank you for that. This security <laughs> camera belongs to the Lordly Taylor department store. You shouldn't have been able to manipulate it. Mm, he didn't need to manipulate it. He gained access to the warehouse under the pretense of providing security. Then he simply dressed up as the thief and stole the urn. So, the ace detective is actually an ace thief! Is this true, whole witness? Uh huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the mask demo is pure and genius, and so am I, look at me, the ace detective! Uh-huh? You're very clever to have come to such a conclusion. I am suppressed, or impressed, Sir Lloyd. I a what? Witness you. You're admitting it? Nick, now's your chance. Yes, time to put the last nail in this guy's coffin. Hm. Detective at me, when you assume the thief's identity... Oh! <laughs> that... <laughs> you know, blend number 102, my personal favorite. <laughs> Mr. Godot! He's got googly eyes. The ace detective is actually now the ace thief. I smell the best selling novel. There's only one problem. It simply isn't true. But Mr. Godot, Mr. White has made some very strong points, and I. I will admit that my opponent has woven a compelling narrative out of the whole cloth, but it is, in fact, nothing more than a patchwork quilt, Mr. Wright. I'm not following this metaphor, but okay. If this de detective really is the thief, then show us the proof you claim. Is th if this defective. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Also, tell us one, one thing. How did the nose fit in the mask? <laughs> Jay? Oh, but it just... better be as hot, as perfect, as the coffee dripping down your face. Oh, we were just enjoying this, uh, this, this right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a little amazing. <laughs> well, oh, well. Mr. Wright, don't just stand there. This court would like to see this decisive proof you have, quickly! Huh? Eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, of course. What's the big, what's the big rush? Are you alright, Nick? That coffee must have been hot. It was a little hot, yeah. At me looks pretty rattled right now. I'd like to finish this right now if I can. But can I really do it? The decisive evidence that proves Mr. At Luke at me is in fact masked and mask is right here. Or maybe it's yet to be. Court record. Hmm. Uh, the f the, 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 the decisive This. Also, uh, is is Godot now the third character in Ace Attorney to attack? Well, no. To, Manfred to, von no. Karma also attacked us. To physically assault us in court. I. Oh, in court? Yes. I think, well, I think he's the second. third in court. Franziska, though. <laughs> yeah, what Franziska. What about uh, um, Frank's, Frank saw it throwing his toupee? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, was, I was thinking about the hummingbirds from the Big Top. Oh. Yeah. I mean, so, that was the hummingbirds. hummingbirds so good, that was the fourth in trial, but sixth, seventh in... Uh, Universe. Yeah, because because uh, Manfred tased us. Um, yeah. Beef Wellington. The, the mobster. With a red a white. Red white red punched us. Yeah, red white punched oh. us, and Beef Wellington Man, hit us I've with a. Man, I've taken a lot of battle damage. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. 
Uh, what about the, uh, like, uh, Will Powers case where he got, like, assaulted by mob boss, or the mobsters? I don't think he was, like, oh, actually yeah. attacked, though. No, no, uh, uh, yeah, Gumshoe stepped in the, uh, just at the last moment. Yeah. Gumshoe got beat the hell up. No, he did great. Well, he um, was in a car crash. Fuck. <laughs> okay, oh, what this, are we doing? Right? This? Is this? The Red this Dino. This mm. is pretty shaky. We have to, like, I feel like this is getting ahead of ourselves. Uh, you see what we keep saying, but is this bad superhuman endurance fair? <laughs> oh god, I had the... Uh, I actually had all of his quotes from, like, Marvelous... or no, Project Crossover 2 the other day. Which just shows how he... <laughs> he gets beat a lot. What do you think? Is it right here? Um, is it right here? Yeah, I, I, I think just it's right say here. It. We'll say it's right here. As usual, the defense comes prepared, Your Honor. <laughs> ha! Very well then, let's see what you've got. Please present proof that Mask the Mask is actually Mr. Look at Me. Would it be the blackmail letter? I feel like this is getting so ahead of ourselves. Is there something else that connects to at me to the ring on his finger? Or connects, I feel like uh, if we have that, we can connect it. It's not like a newspaper article about it happening, is there? No ring, okay, or not that we can see. Hmm. It might be that there's no evidence. Yeah, because sometimes that's a thing. I'm gonna try this, but, and if it's not, I'll yeah. reload, reload the save. It's the uh, same time. Do you really need to? I don't know. It's just one thing. We, 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 we've never really, really run out of lives, have we? Nah. Here's your proof. The uh, music didn't stop. What do you think, Mr. Godot? It looks to me like Mr. Tiger still in my sleepy. No. Perhaps he would like a big mug of my special Godot blend? Well... No, no thanks, I'm fine, really. Alright, let's say there's no evidence. I mean, you know... If you want to pass it across the table, sure. What do I do now? Another mistake like that, and I'm through. Another eight, like nine mistakes like that, or whatever. Without some decisive it. evidence, I could be risking everything. It's attorney three, except every time you take damage, Godot throws another cup. <laughs> Proof. <laughs> of course, I, I, I've got nothing. Ah, just what I thought. A man who has to hold his head up high, no matter how bad things get after all. Uh, yeah, yeah. I see. I thought perhaps you had some evidence to back up your assertion. This is no good. I've got to stay on the attack. No good. I'll never get another chance to prove that this guy is the thief. Don't give up, Nick. Think harder and try again. It's no good. I'm just not ready yet. But are you just gonna give up and let us lose this? Yes. So you can't your senses, have you, Sir Lawyer? I... I can't think of a counterattack at all. It seems the cloud of suspicion surrounding this witness has lifted. Mr. Goodall. If you have anything for it, oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, who, whomst? Uh, oh. Hey. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> <clears throat> Hang on. That doesn't really matter right now, does it? I had to take a little sip. Mr. Light, what are you doing here? Nicky boy, all the thing you've been looking for, I think I found it. Ooh. You mean that bag? No, not the bag. What's oh. in the bag? What? Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. oh. Um. What happened to it? It's fixed and it's covered in paint. Fixed. Well. Ah. And if you look inside the urn, it's Gwyneth Paltrow's head. <laughs> Is that what's in the box? Yes. 
Maybe. Oh my god. The, 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 that's... The sacred urn! Nick, it's the urn! Ba -ba -ba -ba. The urn. Okay, I, I can say the thing I was thinking of earlier. So, Adrian said that she polished the, that she polished the urn, right? Mm -hmm. Before putting it on display. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When we reached into that bag at Luke's office, Nick said that he touched something smooth. So it was probably the urn, yes. Which means if it had been polished, then the only people who have touched it since Adrian polished it would be the thief who may have been wearing gloves and Nick. Mm, so if we... Because uh... so if we find Nick's fingerprints on it, then that proves that it was at Luke's office. Mm-hmm. That's why I think that they made a point to say that Adrian polished it beforehand so that we know that the like so we know the only fingerprints like whose fingerprints should be on it. Order, order, order. Oh, you madame. That uh, oh, where did you find it? Oh, you'll never believe it. It was in the office of Mr. Fancy Pants Ace Detective. Look at me. Oh, Desi, you're the best. Nice. I got an update on the court record. Well, how do you explain that one, Mr. Atme? Uh, by going away for a moment, you take over for me. Who? 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 Whomst? You are. Why? Oh, okay, here I go. <laughs> even, even you are going to have a hard time weaseling out of this one. Uh, that like almost dropped a controller. Ha! Pathetic. Mr. Godot, do you have something you wish to share with the class? Yes, Sir Roger. As a piping giant cup of oh, no, no, it simply analyzes or amazes me how quickly times change. In the old days, a man was to be taken at his word. It's truly sad. This is coming for the guy who put a piece of evidence from the crime scene in his pocket and then presented it to a court. To the court. I showed it to you, didn't I? It was my, my word. Oh my god. <laughs> You're still denying that Mr. Atby was involved in Terrabang? Before casting apprehensions of Detective Atme, consider young lady here. Your name is Desiree. Desiree Delit. Is that correct? The light. No, it's the light. <laughs> oh yeah, um, yeah, um, really quick. For those who might not be familiar, I have played this before, but like once a decade ago. So this is like a legally fun. blind. Yeah, we call this a legally blind when it's been long enough that we don't really remember anything. Yeah. So I might have vague memories, but like a detail like that, probably not something I would really like consciously remember. But no, I was just putting together, oh, Adrian said just said that she polished the urn before putting it on display. And then, you know, Nick describing how he's touching something. So I was like, oh, okay, two and two together. They want we us might... to think about think, think of fingerprints. We All might right. be able to finish today's trial. Oh, okay, let's keep going then. Yes, what about it? At 10 minutes. Ah, how charming. The length that a woman is willing to go to save her husband is truly inspiring. <laughs> What are you insinuating? As the wife of the criminal, you could have discovered the stolen urn anywhere. Including the office of the good detective here. So you found the urn. What does that prove? Desi, your bike suit is amazing. <laughs> It certainly doesn't prove where the urn was before you found it. Oh, red leather with fur fringe. Outstanding. Outstanding. Also, I'm pretty sure we pointed out last time the hubcap earrings, but... 10 mm. out of 10. What? I just brought it here from the detective's office. Please, man. This town is already filled to the brim with lies. Any more could compound the tragedy we would have been witness to. You, you're wrong. I, I would never, I would never do such a thing. 
Miss Delight. Please, Nicky boy. You've got to help me talk some sense into these people. There must be some way. I've got to prove that Ern was actually in the de at me detective a agency. I saw the Fingerprints. Uh, fingerprints! I can prove where the Ern was by the fingerprints on it. Fingerprints, eh? Oh! Oh, come now! Now you're really making me laugh, sir lawyer! Fingerprints indeed! <laughs> Trying to do an impression of Saps's at me. Okay. <laughs> May I go on? Good. Now it would be perfectly understandable if if my fingerprints were on the urn. After all, it was I who was guarding the urn in the first place. In any case, I am always in the habit of wearing gloves, as you can see. So unfortunately, my fingerprints wouldn't be evidence of anything. Why does Phoenix call Desiree Miss Delight in that? Oh. Uh oh. What about it, Mr. Wright? This witness's fingerprints would mean nothing anyway. Nick, what are you going to do now? I've come too far to turn back now. Atme must have brought the urn back to his office yesterday. And there, I'm sure someone must have left their fingerprints on it. Like. Thank you for keeping the others. <laughs> I tried very hard. The defense proposes that the fingerprints of this person should be on the urn. Our uh, own. Me. Yeah, this is why they me. have our. That's why I have our uh, profile here. Th this is the one time. This we is the it. one yeah. time oh, yeah. I called it. Yeah. It might come up later. Maybe. So what's all this fuss about fingerprints anyway? Mr. Atme, do you recall the events of yesterday? Hey Nick, come on, open it up. Hey, wait a minute, can't we just- we can't just open his private property. Don't be such a fuddy-duddy. This is an important investigation. Well, what's in there? Hang on a sec, I'm talking- I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. Well, hello there. <laughs> hello, hello there. <laughs> it's true that I didn't get a chance to look in the bag at that time. But, I did hey. touch what was inside. But what? You, you touched it. And I remember it very well. It was smooth and hard. Mm. Well, uh, that was just... Mm, Your Honor, I'd like the court to examine the fingerprints on that urn. If my fingerprints are on there... Then it proves that the urn was in Detective Atme's office! Objection! Well, even if your fingerprints are on the urn, it still doesn't prove when they were put there, does it? Of course it does. What did you say? It's not what I say, mm -hmm. but what Adrian Andrews, the person in charge of the exhibition, said. I polished it until it was just about glowing. Wonder nailed this. Yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe I could make the, make it look more valuable. If she polished it that much, she must have removed any and all fingerprints on it. And the only chance I had to get my fingerprints on it after that was yesterday at the Acme Detective Agency. Ha! This blend. Godot Blend 107 that I had before. I've decided. It's a little too bitter after all. <laughs> I think my face is burning. Order, order, order. I accept the defense's request. Baffaliff, take this urn and... Uh, wait a moment, Your Honor. There is no need for that. No need, you say? Precisely. I already know Mr. Wright's fingerprints are on the urn. What are you saying? Yes, I've finally broken him down. He's gonna say we're masking <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at one! I was able to find a rival work in my genius. I was forced to create one by myself. Oh no, he's breaking down. Nice. 
I am, that's tragic. Oh wow. This guy's nuttier than a fruitcake. You see? It was me all along. I'm the one and only the, the best. The best! <laughs> Yay! I'm enjoy my little performance. <laughs> what? <laughs> hmm. Well, this went wrong. Well, Mr. Godot, what's Mr. Atomy's condition? You'd think he'd be the one drinking coffee all day. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's still in the lobby laughing insanely, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could enjoy the joke as much as he seems to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it looks like the matter has been settled. I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of thief. I was on my word of the day calendar. <laughs> Nick, you were right after all. Yeah, I guess Mr. Delight really wasn't the thief. The court finds that? the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight. Mr. Uh, Afternoon Delight. Oh. Wait, wait. You're wrong. Wrong, I tell you. Uh, I, I mean, not exactly wrong so much, but not exactly right is what I was really trying to say. No, oh, no, he's not. No, 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 this can't be happening. Don't do it. The thief. The sneaky, odious thief who's been stealing all the treasures. It's me. I'm him. I'm the one you want. I'm the thief, I tell you. So do it. Pronounce me guilty, please. Oh, honey. Uh, Sweetie. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what kind of a kangaroo court you all think this is. Objection! The true identity of the thief has already been proven. Please hurry and pass judgment. <laughs> no way. What are you talking about? I already confessed. I'm the thief, I tell you. <laughs> but the other guy also confessed as well, so... Mr. Godot, don't just stand there drinking coffee. Ha! Hey there, Mr. Thief. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 sir. If you're really a man, then clean up your own mess. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any idea what you mean. If you are a mask, the mask, then prove it. That's what it means. Y yes, sir. I'd be happy to. He says he'll be happy to, Nick. It's kind of cute. He's 100% committed to his fantasy. <laughs> Good boy. Just remember one thing. A boy only gets one chance in his life to become a man. That's not true. You must be swift uh, as a coursing river. Uh, I, I know that. Uh, I won't fail. I swear. Okay, then. Talk. We're all listening. Oh, well. Let's all have a listen to this confession. Oh, okay, maybe it was too much to hope that we might beat the, the trial. Okay, oh, well. it's, yeah. it's 10 o'clock. Should we stop here? This is a pretty good spot. Yeah. Okay. It's a pretty good spot right before the, the testimony begins. Oh. oh. Well, uh, I, yeah, okay. I can't pause there, but Save. I can pause on the screen. Great. All right, so Yay! Have, it seems like there was more time spent on investigation than there was on uh, the trial itself. Yeah, the uh, yeah. the trial turned out to be shorter than I expected. Yeah, because I. I, I mean, it's sure, not over yet, but. Yeah, right. I'm pretty sure there's not a whole lot left after this. Is the thing. Yeah. No one died. No one died. No one. Yeah, no, no one, one died. died. Just this once. Everybody once. lives. Everybody lives. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just thank you for joining us. This was wild and fun, and we got to meet the uh, fan favorite character of Godot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And we'll wrap this next. Uh, yeah, we'll wrap this case up next time, and and, thing. and next time we probably won't have weird Discord issues. It'll be great. Hopefully. Probably. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> coffee soup. Co oh, coffee, coffee soup. soup. All right. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. bye.